it's time for some pure experimentation. So I'm gonna try something silly. Alright, let's take the old woman, probably. I think this, I read that this might actually affect the area that you spawn on, so let's see. Yeah. Alright, let's go. Demand and difficult. Alright, I've got an idea for this one. I'm going to try and push this concept and see how it does. Because I, I have some suspicions about how something may work. So we'll see, we'll see. Let me check something. Yeah, right. Okay, so... Granary, logging camp, forge, or storehouse. Oh, stuck doing berries, okay. And we're here again. I thought that would determine the place that I start, but apparently not. Alright, let's get the logs, the logging operation off the road, and far away from the road. No uprooted trees. Let's connect it via this side. Gonna do a circle around this and see how that does. And look at this weird pattern we've made, hexagons. Yep, one, two, three, four, five, six. So it makes four hexagons inside the circle by just connecting everything to everything. You see this kind of webbing uh, recourse when you make stalls as well. Hands are cold. My wrist is stiff. Yeah, this is going to be just pure pushing of a concept. I think you have to do this. Here. But yeah, we have to get the logs going. Have to get a really aggressive logging operation. Have to then switch to berries really fast. Caesar, when you can do hunting. Oh, that should be nearly done. I'm going to try and uh, focus on logs for this one. Really focus on logs and getting houses and making giant plots. That's the idea here. I'm going to try and use massive fucking giant plots for vegetables. Right, come on, hurry up and build. Hmm. Time to Get find to work, a good guys. tree and soft ground. Right, we need lots of logs. Take another look, just to make sure. Yeah, absolutely no hunting possible here. This is bad, I don't like this. If it's random, I may want to do this again. I'm gonna die. It might not even be possible to survive sometimes. I think there's some randomness to the food and how, how starvation occurs. I think these could start dying. You know, like starvation warnings there. I'll need to get tools going to make this work and we have iron right here. Right, the ox is coming to get a first log. I think if I make a storage thing before I make a forager hut, then we'll all start dying. Right, forager hut. Right, that should work really well. So we're gonna have two logs going straight to there. It's gonna get built. Come on, laddie, come on. I should take them off this and have them all building. 
But this is probably a good place for logging, which is right in the middle of the forest. Alright, we're gonna have three people available to build this. I should take them all off it just to be careful. And then once this is built, I'll spam berries. It's good, I don't think anyone's gonna die then. Four people on that. Well, wow. all right. Let's get loads of berries, and then we can go back to this. Five, seven, twelve. Get to work, lads. Four logs. All right. So we need a storage place. We need a granary. Yeah, and this can be right here. Unless I want to move it closer to any housing that I'm going to make. Which might be a good idea. Because of course, the logistics doesn't really work. So if you have the granary right beside the stalls, then at least that's guaranteed. You know that that's going to be a short travel distance. You want to have granaries... <sighs> Maybe you want a granary right where it gets stored and maybe you want a granary right where it's getting used and just have granaries at all of the contact points. Which would be shit if it worked like that, but what can you do? Yeah, we need to get that granary going. Berries are going to start rotting if we don't do that. And then for the housing... I'm thinking, oh, I need to get that, those, bannery, those berries utilised as well, fuck. Clay deposit, stone deposit, none of this stuff is in the game. Yeah, so maybe granaries and storehouses you want to just generally leave unmanned. Just enable that. Next thing, a whale and a plot. So I can have a whale right on the road here. And then have housing go off of this. Yeah, I'll have the whale be right here at the intersection. And then I can have houses that just stretch right off. And then I can focus on the logging. And I can make giant houses, that's the plan. And I need to get tools going as well, so... I need loads of logs, pretty much. There's no feedback for when you're able to do this. Doesn't give you anything. And all the berries are getting used up. Right, so that's the direction. No, it's all sides permit this. Alright. And then we're going with. Yeah, we need to wait. <sighs> Fuck's sake. Logging is so slow. Ok, 
can delete the roads later if they become issues. Now look, there's a road that goes out between the, the hexagons. So we have a well, we have two logs, mining's coming. We're gonna try and keep everything on this side of the road to avoid impinging upon the berries. And food shouldn't be an issue in this one if this works like I think it might. Could be fine. Right, so we're gonna have... Yeah, the storage, storehouse is quite close as well. So we can have... One guy getting loads of... Iron ore, then we'll switch it, and then we'll switch it, then we'll switch it. We'll do things like that. Got the bloomery going. So I'm gonna go a little bit out and I can more or less ignore wheat for this one. I'm gonna try and not use farming. Gonna go out by that much. Oh, come on, I hate that. See what I can do here? Let's try this and see what happens. Actually, I'm gonna go from this side across. Maybe I should just use this. Whoa, see that there? Whoa, what would happen if I did this? There's no line for the middle. I'm gonna do this and see what happens. Let's see this. I'm gonna use this area for building up and then I'll use these sides for housing then. Be like farmhouse hybrids. Yeah, we'll see how this goes. Could be interesting. Should have loads of tools, loads of iron. Granary has been used. If this works, these people may never starve. But as you can see, it uses up a lot of land. giant plot. Alright, okay, let's have both of these working. Get out of the way. Yeah, we should have tools coming in any second now. Let's see them work in the furnace. I like how it, it goes up the hill. So there's a lot of tolerance here. It's sort of in this side of the hill there, but over here it's fine. Oh, so I need firewood, goddamn. We have some... F yeah, we need... Hmm. 
Yeah, these logs are all cleared. So the work radius seems... Hmm. Yeah, we have to start using this, I think. So I'm gonna go here. And exploit all of this. Nah. I'm gonna go here. And have a forest or hut there as well. To try and keep it sustained. Still no tools. Oh, we can't make tools without firewood. Uses iron slabs and fuel to craft tools. Yeah, and yeah. Okay. So I need to prioritize that. We need to get this going. Oh, there's first log going out. Housings between these two areas. Where oh, we have housing. Goods transported zero to one. Yeah, the ox took it to the wrong thing. Ugh. And everyone's employed, so I need to pull this back. We have still got iron ore, what the fuck. And we don't need firewood to operate this, so that they should be just doing that. And I've got yeah, automatic there. Alright, so now we can start. Let's go, people. That's important as well. We need lots of firewood stored up. And I need to get a storage place near there somewhat. Or I need to use this one. That might be happening already though, that might start. Oh, we have firewood coming in. Uh, Alright, the iron ore is getting processed. So that's fine. And I can relax with this because we can do this all year round and it'll be fine. And then I'll have the forester start sustaining that, making it renewable. Twenty one iron slabs, twenty one tools. That should be enough. So we're gonna have two lots of berries that we exploit. Whenever we have to, we'll have vegetables producing most of our food. This should work. Oh, we have tools. I need to get more houses going now. But I need to be aware of this, so I'll have to plan ahead here. Ah, uh, I can't do it. Wait. Oh wait, yeah. I can see them shimmering a little bit. 
No, that's safe, I think. Okay, it's only that as well. And that should be fine. Yeah, we need those logs to keep coming in. So we have enough berries, we should be fine. And then the carrots or whatever should really take over eventually. Look at all this. I hope this scales. This should fucking scale. I should be able to see this. It should be apparent. And then I get houses going here as well. So I can do high density housing later. In the meantime though, I'm gonna be using this and then I'll avoid the farm infrastructure requirements. Maybe. Depends on how efficient this is. Or I might even be able to import. I doubt it'll work though, I think I think trading's fucked and there's no way around it. And it probably won't be fixable. No, this is using all that. Just need logs now. So we get the food supply sorted out here, and then we build more houses to and use the food to sustain that, and then they join in with producing food. And the berries are a pretty passive resource, and we should have a lot of free work force as well, so we might eventually be able to just make some farms and houses and do it remotely to try and keep things spread out and not congested. So we may be able to have things be spread out a lot compared to that run I did where I had 500 pe people. I might be able to have more than 500 if I can manage this well and avoid relying on congested fucking infrastructure. You have to avoid efficient logistics maybe, or the game just lags. Because all the collision and shit, all the pathfinding and the room. You have to just have fucking one guy on these logging camps to let the trees grow back, maybe. Might even be able to import logs. Like if I make bread, I think it might be to trade away instead of to actually eat, and then I can maybe just buy loads of logs to build houses to get food, and, and then just fill them up with burgage plots. And we just sell the bread, I don't know. Let's check the fertilities. Nah, it's one or I can't, can't do that, alright, never mind. Plenty of tools. Taking their time though. Alright, trading post here. Livestock trading post here. And yeah, I'm gonna need a lot of uh, housing. Keep this going. Yeah, let's try this. Keep the giant plots to the road here. See how that does. Yeah, let's try eight logs here. Four houses. See how that does. And then we use the part here on the other side. Or I could extend it all into here, so I could do this. Shit, I could do this. Why 
one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Fourteen logs would be needed for that. Could try that, see how it does. So that would keep the King's Road relatively uncongested. Because I would still have these roads that come off of it. And I could connect things up outside of this. Yeah, I don't know, man. What's going on with these uh, empty bits? Is this the road infrastructure so this is, this can all be accessed? Some of these seem inefficient. Look at these gaps here, and this gap. I don't know what's going on there. It's like it makes many farms inside the housing plots. Yeah, this logging is taking forever. Oh wait, yeah, it's because we have only one ox. Okay, we need more of them. So that's a priority. That was six logs that I had to get deposited there. Yeah, this is really a priority. It's so bad. Family joins the plot, family joins the plot. Ha, oh, I'm low on food. Wow, I'm fucking low on food. Ah, oh, that's bad. Alright, all logging us to stop then. And I've got to just focus on food. We have no carrots yet. Fuck, this is bad. Oh, granary. Let's get to work. Yep, we've still only got four houses. Thirteen people? Oh my god. Thirteen people, so thirteen food every month. So I need to get all these berries. I've got how many houses? Four, and I've got thirteen people. What's the living space? Three out of one. We've got five, five houses. No, four still here. Yeah. Alright, I need to do this then. Got to just do this. Oh wait. Oh, can only do four. Come on. Yeah, gotta wait, be patient. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's gonna be a hell of a step up, but we should be getting food from all this by then. So I need 14 logs. Let's fill. Turn this on. I hope this works. These may end up being too big. Oh wait. Yeah, so we have three people here to plow in. So they should plow this and that should make it fertile for the future. They should plow all their fields and they shouldn't take long to plant. And we should get loads of food from now on, like that. Should work. Yeah, I like the idea of a no-farm run. Like, see if we can find a way to get lots of resources efficiently. I think bread is really overpowered. Like, see when you see the amount of amount bread sells for. Export for two, import for six. Export for two each. Export for three. Look, eight. Ed, 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 bread is so... Lucrative. And I was making leather and selling that in the past. Yeah, bread is overpowered, man. See if you just have a small bread producing operation, I think you can buy in a lot of shit. 
नहीं भेजो थे I think you're you're really forced though to use bread when you're gonna do this. So we should maybe just make a small farm, see if we can make that work. Make bread to sell, not to consume. It's inefficient to consume it. Like ideally, you would just mass produce bread and sell it all and buy your own food, buy your food in like that. So you would stock up this with bread and then just sell all of it while you're being food sales efficient, and then buy all the other shit that you need. Maybe fill up granaries with imported foods. Maybe have loads of trading posts. That could actually be the way to play this game and optimize it and beat it like that. So you'd have all these, uh, all these trading posts with all these people supplying them. You would wait for wandering traders to come in. Maybe the more trade posts you have, the more chances you get for that. You would sell bread, buy everything you need, mass produce houses, have no none of your own infrastructure. You might have to just do that. Fifteen logs. I think we're getting close now. Let's try it. Let's just see how this does then. Let's just see how it goes. Am I getting any vegetables yet? Yeah, we're doing doing some. That this might all take a long time to plow. This might be too big. See this one, this might be just too much. But we're only gonna find out if we try it. And for the trade post, we'll just set this up in advance. Um... Nah, I can't, can I? need more fucking people. Alright. So we're gonna be important. Get them all as soon as possible. For this. I'm going to be exporting all my bread. Target is zero, we're going to sell all of it. And there's a trade scroll. It gives a different interface. Gonna be coming in. I'm not gonna sell it, and then I can buy logs like that. Yeah, let's see if this works. I don't know if anyone will have really tried this, but I hope this fucking works. And if we can be food self sufficient with this, then that will give us a lot of freedom with what we can do with our workers. It just depends how quickly. The food surplus arrives. Because we're gonna have. Uh, so there's a, a male worker that can be out doing proper tasks, and then we should have females, I think, that can do the plowing, and that's how we use those. There's two guys living here. Two guys living there. So, so the. The wife or whatever, the female occupant, can go to the well, go to the stalls. I can do this. Fucking weird there. Alright, one. Two. Three. Oh, come on. Four. That was janky. And I'll be able to use my stalls as well, like this. One. Two. Oh, I need logs again. Yeah, see, see, you need loggers. You need a lot of loggers, a lot of firewood cutters. You need this shit going all the time. Amount of vegetables is not reassuring. to stock some berries and just sell them. 15 people, so we need about, what is it, 100, no, about 170 food a year. Can we sustain that using these vegetable plots? 
Alright, so we're gonna just keep doing this. Uh, firewood is fucking low. Food is looking good, firewood is not. Need more people. We need a storehouse up here for these logs. The, this firewood, I mean. If they'll even use it. So this should fill up with firewood, and then when they have no job, they should go to this and get them. And that way it should be efficient. So we should have fixed variable labour at the storage places, fixed labour at the actual places they'll work then. Yeah, no, no default workers at these places for the moment. Logs have to come in. No more tools needed. This plot's fucked up. That's a fucked up plot. So that's what happened there, that's why the line wasn't visible, because it was going to just fuck it all up. So I need to wipe these two. One of them just got glitched. Maybe. Maybe I need to wipe them. Vegetables stock is looking good. We've got 100 in reserve. So this is fine, that's why the food supply is so high. Yeah, I might have to just delete these two. Let's try it, let's see how it goes. Let's test it. Because we'll be able to look at the difference in performance and judge. 29 out of 25, yeah we need granaries pulling that out I think. That's full so they should do something else. Harvesting. So is that going to be really high then? October harvest. 35 out of 25. Yeah we need granaries for this. Yeah, you need granary workers. See this? See this? Let's try this then. So he should go out with a car. And he should get the food that's Accumulating too, too high. Is this enough food that we're getting from these places? Fifty-five, forty, twenty-five, forty-six. Right, so we're getting some. A soft five at five hundred there. Yeah, we need logs, look at this. Ox is still doing this, that's why we're not getting any logs. You're really incentivized to just do your building uh, in small bursts and not do it in bulk. Because I think some of the logs will just sit out here and rot. Let's see what happens. 256 vegetables, yeah we need granaries to pull this shit out. Don't know if this is efficient though. Okay, so let's just do this. Let's sell some berries. Uh, sell all of, my, all of my berries. Sell them all. Sell all berries. Sell all bread. Buy all logs. Let's try that, see what it does. Yeah, look for vegetable stocks are getting better. Uh, I heard some shit rot in there. Ok, 
Okay, we have firewood, we have logs. Still got no money. No stock. I've never actually successfully bought logs, I've never seen it happen. Let's try this. I think you're meant to have no travelling traders as well, because I think that they just sell things one at a time. They take a, they only have a capacity of one, so it's a, wa a complete waste of time. Unless you're going to go out and just buy individual tools, or individual units that you need. They never do that, I think. Food stall, damage. Small amounts being damaged, that's fine. And then clothing so And remember we have no leather, we have to buy our own leather and I think. For clothing. So that's gonna drain us a bit, I think. Yeah, so we're gonna stock up on berries and I can sell that and buy logs. Cause it look the logs have already just really dried up. And every ox I get early on is going to be useful. Alright, so let's double down on this shit. We're very light on workers. Still, it's really minimalist. So I might have to do some high density housing if we can get a, a definite surplus of food from doing this shit. And then I might try spam and trade posts and see if that works. Because that might be the key to this, you might just need loads of trade posts. Because the travelling merchants sometimes just don't even come through and do anything, they just pass through and don't care. Don't give a shit. So we'll see. I might try making five of these and if it doesn't work then give up. Because I'm not sure how that works. Let you see them, travelling merchant. And I can't have a variable amount of workforce either. We need more work, you see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. See if we're capped out. Quickly capped out. Berries are running low. It's really forcing me to make a granary right here. To store all this shit. So I'll have temporary granaries and full time granaries. Look, they're storing fucking carrots over here. Yeah, we have to do some high density housing then. Fine with that. Let's do it then. Note 5, decent start. See how this does. That'll be about 15 people or 180 food a year, 170, 180 food. So we can sustain that, I think. If this granary works well, we'll be fine. So let's try this. Yeah, I want oxes. Storage empty, yeah, fuck off. Oh yeah, yeah, it's, it's empty. Look, I was clicking the wrong one and I was still right. Yeah, it's fucking empty. Trading carts allow to transport up to 20 goods in one trip. See, you were meant to be able to do mass exports, but we can't. And look, I can't even stock up on berries. And that says stock zero. This is a weird interface, I don't like this at all. Oh wait, I had the wrong thing on. So this is right now, that now it's right. I need to have berries being harvested though. 
So I need to harvest these berries. Storing carrots, eating those. Look, look at all our vegetables, we have a lot. So I just need to have this granary working. I need to get this high density housing up. Have this granary be serviced, have all these farms get, mini farms get used. It's definitely not efficient compared to bread, it's so easy to just get massive amounts. I might just abandon the idea of having food coming from this and do bread and, and spam spam the the trade posts like I want to and see if that works. Alright, so we're gonna do this. So we're gonna do so some small fields. Let's see how this goes. 69% I thought it would be higher than that. What the fuck? This is deceptive. I thought this was really fertile. So I'm abandoning this. You have to just test these areas. Let's just test another one then. Test here then, see how this is. Right, this looks to be fully green. Eighty seven percent there, yeah. Okay, we'll do this. Ninety percent. 88%. It's really variable. Really variable. So we're going to be threshing right across. And then we'll have a windmill over here or something. 91%. Yeah. So we'll have a windmill fucking just right here. Bread production here. Could even get efficiencies here, they're really good. But yeah, 95% there. Ninety-nine percent. Yeah, look at all this food we've got now. Get the farm building first of all. Yep, got high density housing. Got spare workers. I can double down on this. Quite sure then that these farms produce more food. I think it's proportional because we're getting a lot, aren't we? This granary must be loaded by now, more or less. Yeah, we have bat uh, berries stored. We can pull people off this. This is working as intended. Still only got one ox. So I've got 50 berries, 150, that's enough for 10, 15 oxes, and some logs. Should I just try this then, just spam these and see how it goes? I'm starting to think I, just, I should just do that. Yeah, 
Yeah, that's what we want. Yep, come on, buy logs. Fucking buy them in, man. Buy the shit. I want to see a log getting fucking bought. Oh. Holy shit, we just sold all our berries. This is working, and look at all our fucking food as well, holy shit. Yeah, so this is working. Oh yeah. I'll have another stall area here then. Near here. Oh man, I'm gonna do this. Oh shit. I don't want this though, I don't want farms here, I want fucking housing. I want fucking five. And I want four. This is what I want. But I've had to push it all the way up. This is like what I want. Something like that. And then I can do this. Get to work, lads. And yeah, I'm gonna be buying leather. I want to do that as well. Will this work well? Maybe. They're buying shit now? Like, what's going on? Why Why is our shit getting bought so vigorously? Are we getting any logs? Oh, we're getting leather. Look, I need to go here. Come on, import this shit. Trade to match is a good feature. Let's go for 75 then. So that we never get absolutely clogged. It's like three full storage things, that's enough to build whatever I want to. 1400 vegetables, yeah, we can definitely sustain this, this is good. Three workforce limit. Yeah, so we're going to be farming this and then... Alright, the, the farming is underway, so we're going to do this, and this better work. I don't want to see any more bullshit. And this is a small operation that's very efficient, and this should fucking work. We keep selling our shit. It's 90 berries I've sold so far. And I should be getting more oxes. Yeah, our food's gonna get destroyed. 1,500 stored. We have 50 people, so that's enough for uh, 30 months. Yep. I'm gonna accept this 90% windmill here. No. I should have ovens be right here. 
Oh, come on. Fucking get me logs. Look, we're just buying one piece of leather. What the fuck? This is stupid. This is what I'm talking about, just buying one of something. Oh, did we just get another ox? We did. Oh yeah. I just saw that happen. Okay, good. Yeah, you need to spam fucking trading posts maybe, that may work. I want to see a log come in. Yep, more plots getting finished. Okay, this is good. Then I can do this again as well. Extend this, keep this going. Keep the population increasing. Plowing and growing. I'm going to try and space things again. So I'm going to have a windmill be... I need to move this. I'm going to put this up here out of the way. Delete this. Yes, this is. What? This all looks fine. Seven logs. Hitching post right there. Firewood is dwindling a bit. It's dodgy. Should I sign this now and keep it going? I need more of this, I think. More foresters. Look at all this cleared. Man. This should be fine. Try this. Have it be here. We want it to go there, that's where the firewood goes. So we'll put more load on this side. And then a forest or hut. And hopefully this works. And then I can build storage down here. Close to a granary. So all the supply is down here. We have a, a granary, a storage hut, and then here we have food, firewood, clothing. And I can even make more of these stalls.
Yeah. Now it fast forwards. Keep the login going, keep the firewood coming in. Got three oxes now. Ah, oh, look, it's fucking done itself in again. Oh, wait. No, oh, wait, is this three now then? Nah, it's fucked itself. Oh, oh my god, I hate that. Annoying! Holy shit. Fucking annoying shit. Let's try this then. See what happens now. One, three, two. Fuck it. Let's just force it. This is how this should work, so I'm gonna just keep doing it until it does. And we'll see how it deviates instead of guessing. We're in March, so we'll see. Eight hundred and sixty vegetables stored here. Very decent. Need more people. What I'll have to do. No wait. Yeah, no, that'll do. Decent. So we get six oxes, it's really coming along well. Uh, no berries. But we're gonna be selling bread and fuck the berries. So the farming's coming off this road. Yeah, I'm forced to just do this. Wait for the logs to come in, then I'm going with this. Alright, and then... We have a granary right here beside the clothing, so... I wonder what a granary right between these would do, how well that would work. If this doesn't work, then fuck all this. Fuck all of this. So we're gonna try that. So, uh, we take... The order is there. There's no way the order is not right. We've got farm threshes, threshes to the windmill. I can put a granary here if I have to. Then that gets processed. Granary here to take it if it has to, if it absolutely has to, if the carts are needed. And then it goes to this oven. And then the granary here to take it. And it should just all work. There should be no problems with this whatsoever. It should be extremely efficient. And the overpowerness of the farms should really come through. And I should be able to bulk sell bread for absolutely loads of money. Like I should be able to sell it for 400 each time and I can load up more trading posts if I have to and just keep selling it and that might work. May work. I can stop selling berries and just only sell bread. Simple as that. And I can have have it set to buy logs. So the logs are highlighted No way, that's not how it works. Sorry, so we're selling, we're buying logs, timber. We have eight, eight stored. Fuck the berries, sell loads of bread, fuck the vegetables. We're buying leather, but I should just stop, I should just ignore this, it's so un it's fucking inefficient and annoying. I might have to just really have loads of these, just bulk buying logs, and that might be what we do. 
and just forget about leather pretty much and just have uh, yarn that I make myself and flax that I make myself if I'm gonna do that, if I even care about that, that is Next harvest is gonna suck. One, two, three. Twenty percent. Wow, what a shit harvest that was then. Thirty-five is still three hundred and fifty, which we can sell for two thousand four hundred, two thousand five hundred, which is enough for like a thousand logs. So fuck it, a thousand logs or two hundred fifty leather or three hundred leather, something like that. Yeah, we're buying loads of oxes. Might even be able to buy firewood like that. Firewood is a problem as well, it's really annoying. How big is this area we've got? Decently big, yep. This is the best one, isn't it? See how shit the trading is? My god. 17 logs at least. Let's su supplement with foresters. This is a decent logging camp area, I may well just move it though. What's going on here with all these? What the fuck? What's going on with these oxes? Is this sustaining itself efficiently? Let's try this then. Do you have to just keep moving these fucking things? Do you have to just keep moving your logging camps all the time? Do we need to have lots of logging just going on everywhere then? 22 is decent though, look at that, 22 logs. And we have a lot of grain. Are we making bread yet? Making flour. I may have to do this with the granaries. <sighs> I think so. Piddling amounts of fucking flour. Transporting grain to where? Where is that going? Am I buying logs? Surely I'm not buying logs. Gonna have to do this, I think. So I'm gonna upgrade these. Gonna get one down. We can have one down right here as well. And then a forester. Yeah, having- oh, 11 oxes, what the fuck? It's the highest I've ever seen, isn't it? Don't have much money. Okay, we can start stalking and selling bread now, it's happening. That's good. Uh, we have granaries with upgraded carts. Increases pantry limit and provides one extra handcart. Hey, give us a hand over. Transporting grain, transporting grain, transporting grain. What are they doing? Alright, three, two, three. Oh my god, they're still fucking stupid about this. Two. 
We're still fucking this up. I'm gonna leave this one fallow and just... It's really annoying. Really annoying, man. Right, fallow. Fuck it. <sighs> so frustrating. I hate that system, how it works right now. Look, the grain is going here. Fuck off with this. I want to ban grain from here and here. I want to ban it. Ban the grain. Fucking banned. And the flower should all be going here. But it's not. Of course it's not. Flower should never be going here. I'm gonna add. Come on, go on, right. Get to work. Transport and grain. Yep, so I'll wait until three is empty and these, and I'll I'll de designate three. Your three. And I need more houses as well. Alright. Year two, year three. I hate, I hate that shit. So annoying. Really frustrating, man. Yep, bread's getting stored. Good. 25 times 8, 30 times 8. It's about 240, that's good. I'm still taking it one at a time, like chumps though. But if I can sell that for logs, then I'm not complaining. Oh, look at that. Yeah. Good. Yep, sell the bread. Come on, import fucking logs, man. What the fuck? What do these idiots have? Green just wasting space. Fuck off. Fucking windmill is here. What the fuck? Carrots are going here instead of there. Grain is going there instead of here. Fucking annoying. Still getting no logs. Alright, well. Only one thing left to do then. Got loads of fucking oxes now I can do this. Look at them all, holy shit, look at all these oxes going. This is it. This is the shit right here. Can I catch them all? They're going up this road. Maybe I need some on that road then. Also firewood is fine actually, I thought it would be worse than this. I need to get more people already. Wow. Well, got the logs for it though. Did fine actually. Houses, yeah. We can sustain this, this is fine. Woodcutter Lodge.
Oh yeah. So we're taking one off that, putting them on this, maybe. Might have to do likewise. No, 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 I won't. Oh, this is really fast. This is really good. It's quick work, holy shit. Oh, all of my grain is getting used. Am I really selling bread that fast? Alright, putting this down, spreading them out to increase chances. Oh, we have 17 oxes. I didn't realise we could get that many. Didn't I try to get way more than this and it wouldn't work? The fuck? Look at all this. Are, are we. Is the frequency of carts going up? We're definitely not buying logs. All our grain is getting used up. Alright, so there's a two and a three. And we need a one, so I'm gonna put this three and expect it to fucking shoot it forwards to the next year, and that may work. Then I might have a cycle. Three, two, one, cycle. May work. If that doesn't work, then it's just fucking random and really horrible how that works. Nine hundred sixty-nine. Yeah, we have a lot of flour. It's all been stored here. My God. On, so we have one guy in a windmill, managing to find to process all this grain. So far. And we just have to step up the production of bread to clear the flour out because it's clogging everything. Alright, now we can try fucking around with stuff. So what happens here? What is this guy doing? He's transporting from there. Why? Why? Oh, he's taking tough food, so... Oh, fuck's sake. It's a waste of time. It's a waste. Pointless. Look, we need this. So what that tells me is that I need to have this be stepped right up to distribute all this vegetables. And that will free up these individual guys more. <sighs> so annoying. Putting the handcart back. So wait a minute, does this mean that handcarts are going to be des delegated to these tasks but the menial stuff will go elsewhere? Might that be how it works? And look, we have no logs. What the fuck? What's he doing? What is this idiot doing? Waiting for logs to be collected? But... We have fucking oxes everywhere. I've got like 20 of them. What are they all waiting for? Oh, uh, okay. So this... Um...
Yep, yeah, so that's what's causing a lot of these problems. I need that. I need that right now. I need it to fix that. Task guide is coming. Whoa. Shine down and grow the land. It's really bad. That's why. Hey, give us a hand over. Hang on. Have I fixed it? Is that... Did I do anything there? Did I fix it? I think I might fix it. Hey, give us a hand yeah, we need logs. Ugh. Got a thousand saved up. Look at them getting stuck. Where, where's, where's he going? Transporting bread? Transporting timber? To where? Alright. Oh, they took so long to do this? Fucking hell. Yeah, the logs are coming in again. <sighs> that is what has been congesting me like fuck. So bad. I need to just fucking have loads of storehouses and just bulk store logs then. It's really horrible. Look, I've got 21 oxes now. What? Yeah, yeah, that's working. That's a lot of oxes. Maybe you have to just have two or three and just really supervise the fuckers. Might just be how this works then. Two, one, two. Ugh, it's fucked itself again. Nothing I do can get us to work, it's just fucked. Workforce limit 3. Why is this not even plow plowed? What's going on there? We can't even get it to plow. This one isn't plowed. 75, 90. Got bread. So we have bread and all these, we just need to have it result in logs. Four trading posts. Can I just get more and more, I think? We come into this, tr trying to make it work. I don't think this is in the way of any berries. No, it's fine, I think. I don't want that though, I want workers. How are we managing it to make it so tight here? Look at how efficient this is now. The fuck? Yeah, I need more logs, my god. Loads of vegetables, thousands. That's enough for 500 people for 6 months or 1000 people for 3 months. I can get a lot of people like this. I don't think we're even really congested at all yet. And the logging has just stopped again. 
What is he doing? Do I need to have shit on this road as well? Yeah, this login is so fucking... Transport and what? He's got to get fucking logs. What the fuck? I'm just stuck. I need to get logs. This keeps happening. Gotta make another logging camp. Did I have another one getting ready? Contours here are completely fucked so I could do this. Yeah, let's try this. Number 44 just came in. So we're selling a lot of bread, making a lot of money, it's working. <sighs> yeah, this fucking log ball neck does my head right in. The wood cutting is fine. Food situation's really stable too. Felling a tree, alright, we're getting back to it then. About time. And there's a debranch in it. Gathering. Is it gonna just keep felling more? Alright. Can I assume that everything's fine here? So the login has to pick up. I have to get more workers going. See if this can actually scale and work. Running low on flour when you get this harvest coming. Shit harvest, but fuck it. Logs are coming in slowly. Yes, yeah, maybe fine. Yep. So there, none of these people will get distracted by farming. Maybe we won't. Five logs. We have ox that we around, which is fine. Six logs. Four hundred grain, that's fine. Should have way more, but fine. That's not a problem. And yeah, I just need high density housing to fill up my granaries, to have everything just be staffed. The firewood should be stable as well. If I need to, I can make some more. Can I buy firewood then? Maybe I should try that. Look, I've got... Where's all my money going? What the fuck? Didn't I have 1,500? What the fuck? And there's no way all that's disappearing into leather. What the fuck? No way. The fuck is all my money?
I'm gonna make more trading posts on this road. I made these on a branch in the road. And I think these are missing them sometimes because they're just going down to there. Look, I'm missing all these traders. That one might do something. No, okay. Yeah, so this is the section of the main road where all your traders have to be then. Oh man. Can I relocate these? Nah. Thirty-two. Let's try that then, let's try important firewood. I've got a lot of these traders, so I might as well make the most of it. It's cheap. Uh, it's so shit. It's not much firewood. Let's fuck that. I'll have to just like click in this whenever I can be bothered then and see if this works. Let's see if it just works. I want to be important firewood. Let's see if it works. And then we're gonna double down on the traders. on there. Yeah. Let's see if this works. <laughs> That'll be funny. I feel it's pretty low, yeah, see that? Are these houses up then? The ones that I made, I think they are. Let's branch off in this direction and make more houses. We have some souls there, so that's fine. I think this will work. It's a lot of traders though we have now. Hopefully I can generate some surplus or utility out of that. If not, then I don't fucking know. What's going on with these loggers? Oh, is it because we're storing it here? We are getting logs. Shit is working. That's all I want. Oh yeah. The firewood's on a show though. I can tell it's gonna be a problem. This might be the way to do it. You have to have a forest or a woodcut right across from each other. And then have them be close together so they can keep each other busy in a small radius. This might be what you have to do. Oh wait, this is a woodcutter lodge. Forester hut, storehouse here. Yeah. It's 
So I need to branch off from here. And just have another one of this really close by. Granary damage, what the fuck? Still got loads of flour as well, so I'm gonna have to just make more ovens. You have to work backwards like that with the production chains. Seems clear to me. Also, these oven. putting the handcart back? What? Oh, great job. Yeah, nice one. Yeah, good job, man. Fucking dumbasses. They do this too much. I just did it. Oh, I did it, I saw that. Yeah, emergency boot mod, see that? I see it. I can't even click on them though, fuck's sake. Oh, there we go. Oh, yeah, I got him. Oh, wow. That's good, it actually resolves that shit. That could be game breaking, I suppose, so it's good that that's there. I'm glad I put that in. Good job putting that in. That's a relief, but I need to check like 500 people to make sure that they're not fucked. At that rate, that's so bad. Like, you have to just go through and ch check everyone to make sure they're not useless. Let's well, see if there was a way to sort by productivity, you could use this to actually fix your guys, but I can't. Well, I suppose you would want to just stop it from happening in the first place instead of putting all these resources towards fucking fixes to make it more bearable. Eleven logs, yeah, we're getting some progress. Getting an excess of guys here. Have a lot of food. Loads of flour. Are we even selling and using all this? I see leather there. I'll we'll just fast forward, see how we do then. The firewood is fucking low. Yeah, that's really bad. Stay out the way of this one mill. I'm gonna go over here. Man, all this too steep bullshit. And then another one. Oh, I need more logs. Yep. Yeah. 
with car lodge. So I need, yep. Forester hut with car lodge, yep, yep. Okay. Starting to look alright. But yeah, we're not importing fucking firewood. We're not importing logs. We're not getting anything. You can only bulk sell, it seems like. It's fucking annoying. I want to be able to just mass import logs. Even if that would be overpowered. Just fix the prices and allow bulk buying and selling. That's all we need. But that establishes a lot of what's possible here. Well, we've tested a lot of stuff. It's only been an hour and 40 and I've tested a lot. Windmill is not using any flour. I need to start dedicating more guys to the granaries then. Three, three, three. We'll see how this does. And we still have excess workers as well. So that might have been really needed. But now you see the congestion starting, which you really want to avoid. I did it again, I put them all in the main road, didn't I, and caused this. If I get loads of logs, I can move this onto this road, all of it. I just have all of this on that road. Keep all of these carts off that fucking road. The windmill is even on that road. You can just have all the granaries across there. And then the only reason to have granaries go here is to deal with the housing directly. All the industry is off the road. So I might as well just try this then, just go for it. Just have ovens, I mean, have windmills be over here. Maybe you should just do one mil granary, one mil granary, one mil- no. One mil oven, one mil oven, one mil oven, like that. Just do that endlessly. But I've got no wheat at the moment. I've already processed all into flour. It just has to go to the ovens. So either we need more ovens, or more efficient supply. So you have to just have everything be right beside the farm then, maybe. You have to just pack shit around the farm. So wherever you're going to be producing food, you have to have it all be coming out in carts to go where it needs to go. It's disappointing. We need more workers here. Firewood's getting low, yeah, dwindling. Need a forester hut here. Yeah, we're keeping the trees dense around this. Like, why is this looks good? And then I can do this here. And have... Woodcutter, Forester, Storehouse, Plenty of Logs. I'm not really selling that much, this means I've only sold 250, no. About 200 fucking bread, that's crap. I should be selling way more. It's not right. But I need a lot of log capacity, either import or to sell. Alright, there we go, we just bulk sold some. Yeah. Now I need more houses again. 
But I can do that now, thankfully. Okay. Get these fucking houses. firewoods. Let's see if we can stretch this and have two loggers per forester. This has got to be efficient, we've got to have a lot here. And this is some high density housing that looks really good. And we're getting logs again. Oh fuck. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I've got to do that, I think. That's so good. Next harvest is shit. Coming up for a ton of people already. And it is slanted, which it might be optimally slanted right now. 2,500 saved up. 18 logs. Oh, the lag. Oh my god, look at all the fucking oxes. It's beautiful. What the fuck? Look at the state of this road placement here. That's a bit messy. Are they connected? Look at how fast these houses are going up. Holy shit. This is extreme. Alright, I need to see if I can... I'm onto something here. This is looking really good. Oh man, I'll even be able to have loads of market stalls. Look at that. Absolutely powerhouse. Even getting our shitty harvest. Love to see it. Firewood reserves are sort of dwindling so. So how are we doing in terms of all these foresters?
cover the granaries. So we are doing our harvest. The yields are crap. Why are these yields so shit? What the fuck? We need more work. I'm gonna have to just delete these farms and start again. This is terrible. Also, I wonder if the yields affected by these with the farmland. We're still subsisting on all the vegetables that we've made. Are we? This is a good residential area. Oh, we have a water table right here, wow. Cool. There's our other well I've got. I should delete this area. Just have a well here. Yeah. And then the stall can be here. And that works really well. Pardon the pun. Carrots, yeah. Getting all the harvests. Firewood is sort of stabilizing. I need to just make sure that these logs keep coming in like clockwork. Still building these houses. Couple of wells in good places. Yep. This is what we want. Oh, a lot of green. Yay. I wonder if. I think the yields have recovered since I added more people to this. Let's go, people. Wait a minute. Total field workers 9 out of 8, 8 out of 8. Three, three, three. That might help it a lot. This might help recover the yields. I'm tempted to just fast forward through this and see how it does. And the firewood is really stable as well. Woodcutters doing fine. Seems like two to one's a good ratio. Two to one. Can kind of force workers to be on that. 5,000 food, 250 bread. A lot of flour. So we do want more ovens then, I think. Just gonna do this then, gonna have more. And let's see what these guys are doing. Transporting... Should, should be sticking to here, that's what I want to see. Oh shit, I should have built on this fucking road again, yeah, yeah, fuck. I don't really care about the efficiency of windmills. Should I even give a shit? I don't think I should care. And also when you pack them together, they increase each other's efficiency because they just delete fucking trees. So, fuck this, I think. They're flower storage anyway, so you want to have lots of windmills. Just have lots of windmills with only like one guy working them. Process all the wheat, all the grain quickly, get out of the way. You don't really want to store it. It's not important to store it. Storage space is it really an issue. 250 grain, that's enough for how many people are it? 12? 
So every windmill that has 250 flour in it is storing enough food for 20 people. So if you want to have a thousand people, you have, have 50 windmills. And you have enough food for a whole year. Just have loads of windmills. Who cares? Yeah, fuck it, there we go, see? Just have loads of these. 68, 68. And just have loads of farms everywhere, clear the trees, have farms, if you really want to do this. 78, 88, 88, I think this has recovered it. 3, 2, 3. Loads of flour. Yeah, more houses. Keep this going. Try and cram some houses into this. Oh man. Holy shit. <laughs> yeah, I'm fucking building that. I'm just gonna wait until I can build that, that's ridiculous. Two thousand flower out of nowhere. And it's spam trade posts. Spam bread. Sell bread and, and bulk buy, I don't even know what. Does it matter? We need more work, you see. I wish I could just disable the accepting of grain at every single granary. I don't want grain to go to granaries, just store them in fucking windmills. Store them in the farm building and own windmills, it's needless. You're destroying that. Destroying this. Destroying this too. And... It's completely needless. See that look, their efficiency just goes up when you have more buildings here. So that's what we're doing, we're just gonna have loads. Oh yeah, we're lagging. Oh shit, I'm low on firewood. Yep, 2 to 1 is the ratio. I'm gonna have a storage house here. What's causing the lag? What the fuck? Why is my frame rate so shit suddenly? Oh wait, did I do it? One, two, three. Is it working? We'll have to see. Have to wait, have to see. Coming up for 70 houses, over 200 people. <laughs> Frame rate is so shit, man. What the fuck? The logging is slowed down. Don't like that. Why are they not plant planting this? What? Should we plant this? Should be getting planted immediately. And the vegetables are still working. Still working. Work, 
forcing workers to work there. We need to be taking these logs, these this firewood out and storing it. Yep, flour. Get rid of the vegetables, please. So we're processing all the grain efficiently. I think at the moment it's so efficient to use wheat that and to make bread that you don't even have to worry about the windmill efficiency, who cares? Come on, people, get to work. I need to find a way to actually use all the bread excess that I've got though. It's really firewood and it's f it's food, firewood and like how can I how can I use this? I've got all this fucking money. It's not even that much though, like even if I was to buy food I would only get like 1,500 of it. So what do I do? Just import meat? Go to trade overview and just mass import all this food. I don't know. Import grain and cause a... Import wheat. Mass import wheat and then thresh it all. I don't know. Let's try it. Import... Uh, berries? No. Meat. Alright, so we're gonna import that as well. Uh, what? Give me the scroll again. Trade overview, yeah. Current price. It does, it's not even saying the current price properly. Eggs. Import. Loads of that. Milk. Import. Loads of that. Whoa. Alright. Alright. Oh, now I get it, okay. It adjusts automatically. You should be able to just manually input a number though, fuck that shit. Alright, let's fix this. Shitty amount of logs though, we're back to dealing with this. And the frame rate is still broken for no reason. Is there an ox that's fucking broken and just glitching us out? I think this, yeah. They got stuck. Yeah, he's stuck with his log. Come on, laddie. Come on. On, lad. Come along. So the ox boop doesn't work. I think this is it. I think this thing's fucked. I need to delete this house to free this thing. Come 
Ah, it worked, okay. Oh, my frame rate's fixed. Holy shit. A fucking broken ox tanked my frame rate down to like 20 FPS for the past 10 minutes. Holy shit. I can actually play it in 16 times speed again. My god. That's right, you have to find all the fucking broken animals and release them. And then my timber's gonna go up again, maybe? Yeah, it is. My timber's going up again. Oh my god, you have to be so aware of that. Like, every time your timber stops going up, you have to find that shit and fix it. Oh, it's so bad. It's so bad. And I'm low on firewood. Yeah, I've got too many oxes, they're just all bro uh, broken. Broken shite. And you have, I don't know, I think if I reduce the number I've got, it will just fuck them up again. Oh, another one, fucking, uh, fuck's sake. I can't access the emergency mode. Man, I want to push this game, like I really want to see what's possible with it, but this demo is really buggy. Like it, it works as a demo, I can see how the game works and it makes me want to get into it, which is exactly what a demo is meant to do, it's meant to make you interested, but holy shit, it's got so many problems. Task guide is coming. And when's that gonna happen? What was that? It just disappeared. Fuck me, man. I've got to really reduce the number of boxes I've got and supervise them and just go between them like this to make sure they're not busted. I think this one's fucked. Yeah, these are all fine. I need to reduce the number of boxes I've got. It's too... they're too buggy to be able to supervise this many. I'm gonna sell like 60 of them. And I've got nearly 3,000. I'll be able to tell if I'm buying food by the types that are being used. Yeah, it seems like you can't actually trade properly because what I would want to do. Oh no, I've got no firewood. Ah, oh, fuck. people start dying of this soon. Yep, zero firewood, two firewood. I need more people and I need to allocate them to the ovens and I need to make more houses. And I need to hope that the firewood stabilizes because I've I'm sure I've got a lot of firewood being made, so I don't understand this. I've got a lot of these woodcutters. I might have to just space them out and just have loads of them and try that, just aggressively attack this, like that. Like I might need to just have one right here, or right here. And my frame rate is shit again. So I'll make one here. Because when the foresters plant the trees I think it, they keep a tight area. They don't, they're not very intrusive. So we'll just try that then. So I'll make a road connecting that directly there. And then Forester Hut. 
and storage is right there. So we'll only need two woodcutters, so four people for each one of these. There's four. Four for each slot group, and if I can share the storehouses then I'll only take like three and a half. So two woodcutters and a forester, two woodcutters a forester, and then try and connect them with storehouses so they share them. Oh, they're dying, yep. Probably gonna die quite rapidly. And it'll probably rapidly reduce my available workers as well. Yeah, I see it going down. I should have a lot of guys chopping wood, so it doesn't make much sense. It's really nonsense. Maybe they're relying on the oxes and getting fucked up by them as well. Could be. But I know for a fact I've got loads of woodcutters. More than I usually have. Way more. Let's go, people. So there we go again. Loads of woodcutters everywhere. Gotta just get more people now. Even more. 13 houses. Let's see if we can do it. That may be too steep. Let's see. Yeah, how did I know that would happen? Yeah, we'll have to just adjust it then. Alright. And then over here. That looks steep again though. Can make another ten houses, yep. Five there. Can make another six. It's four. Five thousand food, so we're doing fine. Alright, come on, where is all my fucking firewood? Population's recovering. Is this not connected? What? It's, I can't, it's invisible. Oh, it's a little path. The foresters are working that well. Can even do this. Food is fine, just gotta get these woodcutters. Come on. Let's get these logs going. Still got 21 oxes, which is annoying. Just fucking slit their throats. Alright. Storage house is right. No, it's not. Connect to like this in. Storehouse. It's there. Yep. Alright, let's check on all these oxes. 
Looking good. A lot of them are idle anyway. Looking good. Yeah, I guess. We are building a lot of houses at the moment, so it would make sense if there's uh, not many logs coming in. They're probably waiting for... No, wait, we have so many oxes, it shouldn't be a matter. They should all be getting collected. Man, this logging camp is clearing a massive area, what the fuck? Firewood is still pathetic. What the fuck? Thousand bread now. I don't see any miscellaneous food items. Really disappointing. So I've got to just keep importing leather. Oh, I just sold a full load there, 400. 3,500 saved up, nothing I can do with it. Regional map. Yep, so I tried a lot of things that I hadn't used before. I tried to use plots as farms for subsistence early on. Tried to use bread as a commodity to export, mostly worked. Tried to mass produce logs and firewood while having self sufficient food. 250 people and the logs have kind of dried up, which is disappointing. I might need to just spam more log camps and see how far this can go. Just keep, keep uh, producing more and more and more. What do I have to lose? All this too steep, my god. I'll just keep going, see if I can keep the logs going. Yep, seems like we're doing well. It's going fine. I wonder what would have happened if I just never booped those fucking cows. Would we have just totally clogged up and gotten stuck and be completely fucked? I have a feeling that we would. Alright, I'm over 50% of the previous record that I got, 500, so let's see. It's getting definitely really fucking laggy. I've mostly avoided congesting the roads. It's a little bit bad here, but what can you do? What can you fucking do? Yeah, I've got to build out more population onto this side, I think, down here.
There's food and firewood that I want and I can't seem to trade for any. Which is defeats the whole point of trading. Like I'm not getting any help from the trade system. Look at these fucked up harvests as well. They're, they're not working right. I'll have to just do this. Oh yeah, I'm helping the efficiency there. I think this is right. Yeah, this is good, I think. So we're gonna rotate. So we're gonna go three. Oh, this looks good. Two. One. Oh, come on, how can it fuck this up? It has to work. And then I can do this. Can even make more farms if I have to. Farm buildings, that is. Yeah, why not? It's a very laggy building. And then I can split this down to 7, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7. Or 6. 6 there, 6 here. But this might congest the fuck out of all this. Uh, I'll keep all this off the main road then. That solves it. It's a lot of people, holy shit. Yep. What are they all doing? Vegetables, firewood. Emmer, 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 yep. More fucking houses then. No, we've not even got any wood really. Oh yeah, I'm doing that. Oh yeah. Coming up for two and a half hours. Is this going fast? I think it is. Nearly 100 houses again. Nearly 300 people. And there we have it. I need another... Well, to get 1,000 people, it's gonna be like 300 houses, so I need another... 400 logs. I would have to leave this going at 4 times or 16 times speed with loads of storehouses and just fucking rush for logs. Could I do that? Could that work? I'm curious if I could actually get away with that, if I just use logs to hoard logs and then just r go for it and actually try and get a thousand people like that. I wonder if that kind of a, a rush could work. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Um, that may be what I do. Alright, we're getting laggy, but yeah. Tolerating it. 
Alright, he's fine, he's fine. I'm currently on real normal speed. Yeah, the lag was really bad there for a second for whatever reason. This is it, I think. This is the culprit. This fucking idiot here. Look at all this jamming. Oh yeah. Fucking works. I want my frame rate fix now. Well it fix. Oh, this is bad. Holy crap. It's so bad. That's definitely what's tanking the frame right there. That was really bad. And then we have this. Alright, try this. Get to fuck. Every time I do that, my frame rate feels like it improves. So. Zero timber, <laughs> nice one. So let's take a look at him, see what he's doing. Construct him. There's all these trees to be cut down and they're not doing it. It's really annoying. Set work area. Right fucking on that, please. And then likewise. Let's we'll see if this works. Right fucking on that. And again. I've still not seen any evidence of this shit working. Still awaiting actually seeing it for myself. Shit harvests expected here. What's this idiot doing then? <sighs> He's over here. No idea why he would be over there cutting a log, that is nonsense. And they've switched places. Wow, fuck that. Oh my god. See then. Yeah, these are worthless. They're not doing anything that they should be doing. 
And I can't sell my fucking oxes that I've got. Ugh, oh, fuck this. We're not trading for anything useful, it's so annoying. Oh wait, we have six leather. Six. Fucking six. We're not importing any food that we want. This is completely useless. We're just wasting workforce at this point. And look, I'm still getting no logs. So broken. You can't scale up and actually just push the efficiency and see what you can get away with. Like, I actually have large-scale villages that are efficient. It's too buggy and fucked up. Like, I'm just completely stuck now. <sighs> Gotta just fast forward, I suppose, and watch, see what happens. Let's see if we get any fucking logs. Any at all. Well, they're just waiting. There's absolutely nothing for them to do. Transporting. This one's gotta be to blame. There's gotta be one of these that's just to blame for all this. Look at them all. What are they doing here? Where's the hitching post? Let me move there, let's see if this fixes anything. I think this guy's fucked. Waiting for logs to be collected. Yeah, there's something. One of these oxes are busted. Gotta just go through them all. Oh, sucks. This is why I wanted rid of them. Going somewhere. Yeah, let's see it then. So useless. Gotta have all of this construction finish and then we'll see what happens. There's still some to go. Could be it. This has to finish building. Oh my god. So I think what's happening here is... Is there any... Yeah, this one should be getting built. What the fuck? Constructing. So they're waiting for logs to build, but in order to build they need logs. I think that's what's going on, something like that.
Will they just come out when this building's finished? How do I delete these? I think I should delete this and put it back. Come on, people, get to work. I don't know what it is, but we're at a complete standstill, so this one's doing something. Some of them are doing stuff. This one's fucking guilty looking as fuck. This one, I think. I think this one's a zombie or something. Oh, wait. Oh, wait, 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 something's fixed. Oh, man. It unjammed itself somehow. Holy shit. Alright, well, now that we're here, I think I need to spam dozens of storehouses. So I need a massive log capacity, I think. And let's see if we keep getting any logs after that. Alright, some of these are coming down. Yeah, we see one. So I might have to just sit and wait now and watch. Each one of these storehouses is 14 logs. Oh wait, how many is it? 50? 50 logs is 25 houses, 25 houses is 75 people, so if I can actually store up loads of logs... Let's confirm this. Yeah, 50 logs. Completed what quest? I don't fucking know. And I should have the storehouses be up here, I think. Near all this. Near the hitching post. Would I put it again? amount of grain there. Oh yeah, it's fucked itself again, see that? Let's get to work! 
You need more hoses, Sin. How is there no one working there? What? Someone here as well. Hitching post is. Put it somewhere around here. Look at that. No logs, what? Down there, what? Gotta be nearby here. Didn't I put it on the side of one of these? Waiting. There, the logs are getting stored. These are meant to be getting taken to the storage places. What the fuck? Yeah, come on, go, go, go. Yep, see these logs are accumulating, that's it. It's good. Seems like it's working, like we planted a radius of trees around all this. Wait, they're actually cutting? What? Crafting? Seems like it's working. This is working, oh yeah, look it works. It's finally undeniable that that shit at least works. I think that's working well. Down here though. Ah, oh, I see the ring. So this is working likewise. I think we need to keep all of our storehouses manned. There's two requirements. You need a storehouse to take it, you need an ox to take it there. You need to have both of them. That might be jamming us up. You shouldn't need storehouses to be manned though if an ox is just taking it there. Yeah, I need more people now. Fuck. A little bit short. This might do it. The windmills are doing fine. Processing all the grain, just fine. Heaven shine down and grow the land. Taking flour past the ovens. Fuck knows why they would do that, but yeah.
This is a mess here. Zero logs again. Oh, fuck this. Oh, fuck off. You need the building to be finished to get logs. But the thing is, it fucking lags like a bastard when you fast forward, so you have to wait for the building to get done. And lo everything has to be in fast forward to really have progress, and it's just a nightmare to get. Look at all the money that I've got saved that I can't do anything with. That should be 2,000 logs. I swear that's equivalent to, and I, don't, I can't ever even approach that. No way. Oh wait, can I send guys out getting logs? Holy shit. Oh man. This better work. This better work. Let's try this then. No way, let's just try it. Let's full trade. Full trade and active traders. Run out and fucking do this then, ourselves. You're gonna send them out to do this. They're bringing back logs one at a time, oh god fuck. Oh, I need to export, oh my god. Full trade, go down to five, my god. That's why I wouldn't do that. And now... I need to get my fucking logs. Okay, let's see if we can do this now. I need to get rid of some of these oxes. I'll have five of them. And I'll do full trades to... To export my bread. To import Look at all my vegetables, my god. And I want logs. I'm fine with all these, as long as we're exporting bread, which they're coming to sell. It's the logs that are most important. Get these fucking logs. Alright, and then... Traveling traders. So we're gonna have... Two guys, one traveling trader. Two guys, one traveling trader. And let's see if this works. I need to see my logs... Coming, going up. They might just buy stupid shit when they're away and I might have to restrict them. But I can at least try. If, if I have like five trade posts buying logs, every now and then, that'll be fine. I might need to do more farming, but fuck it. Empty. Almost empty. Shit yield over here. Growing. It doesn't say that we're gonna have any harvests. Moves export goods to trading post. Yeah, the login is so slow, man. Taking too long. I have to come up with shit like this to do this.
In fact, I'm gonna take a piss break and just let this fucking run and see if we get anywhere. Ten. What did they? St oh, we're selling our oxes one at a time. One at a time. Come on. Frame rate is stabilizing. Maybe. Is it the oxes that fucking lag you out? Don't need to just let this run. Storehouse. Do I need to just store all these logs like this? Could that help it if we just have loads of storehouses? My mind is just racing to solve these fucking problems that shouldn't exist. Oh my god. How safely I place this road. Hopefully they'll do what they're meant to and give me my logs. Still no indication of any imports of utility whatsoever. It's already getting real laggy. We are really subsisting well on these vegetables though, holy shit. Supplementing that with bread, I think that's what you're supposed to do when you play this, just have some plots for vegetables for a while and then make farms. It seems like it works, the food situation's been under control the whole time. I've never even came close to being in trouble. But look at the ratio now, I've got... 102 workers, 206 people, so 3 to 1, exactly 3 to 1. 2 to 1, I mean. And I read something about the burgers where it says it has more living space, but I've not noticed that at all. Can I actually achieve that? I 
Oh, my frame rate is so bad. I'm not even doing anything. I'm not fast forwarding or anything. What's this? Uh, it's so bad. I'm looking at the congestion place and there's nothing going on. Well, this is fine. He looks like he's alright. Well, he's sort of flying around at the moment. He's, he's skiing along the ground. Going somewhere. Alright, he's fine. Alright, we got an extra frame. Yeah, this guy's fucked. If I can boop this guy and have the frame rate repair itself, then I'll know for a fact that's what's going on. Oh wow, holy shit. Holy fuck. That is so bad. Could there be another one that's broken then? Look, why is he just stuck? I need to get rid of these oxes, man, they're broken. They're broken. Task guide is coming. Why do we need a task guide? What the fuck? Forester looking for plant spot. Let's go. Cool. I need to push this fucking thing. I think my frame rate went up again. Did it? Alright, we're gonna have five oxes from now on. Guide Nox? Yeah, guide them then. What the fuck? Just stand in there. Come along. Lead. Bastard, you are stuck. Fucking knew it. We've got another 10 frames there, I think. So it's the oxes that bug out and just lag everything when the city gets too big and they don't know what to do. Wow. It's really good to know. We still need 300 houses, 334. We have 102, so we need another 201 houses, so we need another 400 logs. So we need 8 storage houses full of logs. Storehouses full of logs. I'm sure I've got 8 of them around the place. I'm sure I can store that many logs. I don't think we can buy logs, because I think you need a an ox or something to to do that. I don't think it's implemented that they can drag logs out of this, so I need to just delete all these. They're garbage. They're worthless fucking shit. I can't use regional wealth for anything. So I've got to just delete a lot of these. 
Back up to 50 FPS with 100 houses, 300 people. So I have to just delete these fucking things now. They're completely useless. Use them to get tools and that's it. They're just crap. I can't even get fucking leather in decent amounts, it's pr shit. I'm gonna keep one. Let's go, people. And I'm gonna try and get leather, just b bulk buy leather. Look at all these vegetables I've got, holy fuck. Bulk by leather. Wool, yarn. Leather. Cloth. Why the fuck is cloth so cheap compared to... Cloth and yarn so cheap. Alright, just leave it at this then. See how this does. One trade post fully manned. Frame rate is way better now. What the fuck? To the logs somehow, so suddenly. This is what we need. Yeah, I can do it four times and relax here. And check my fucking phone. Hopefully, these storehouses can just store logs, loads of them. 22 is not that bad. We're getting there. logs. The family's moving in. Four logs. It's quite slow. I think there's definitely a sweet spot for oxes at the moment. Not many of them do much. Like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Like six or seven. The rest of them just stand around like idiots doing fucking jack shit. And how did I manage to sell one? As well. How the hell did that happen? 27 logs. Alright, so let's think about this. We need 400 logs, right? So it's... We want 334 houses. We have 107. So I need about 225 houses, or about 450 logs. So I need about 500 logs. Let's just try and get 500. So I should build no more... No more fucking houses, and I should just have 500 logs. 
500 logs and then I go for the building and we try and do it. And we try and get a thousand population that way. That's how we do it. That is how it will be possible to get a thousand people if it's possible. There's no way you're going to be able to do it if you just legitimately go up slowly. We're going to have to get a thousand, or right, twelve thousand a year food as well. That's to do it stably. But the firewood is a really big issue. Like we're, st it's really barely stable at the moment. Maybe I should just build occasional houses fucking everywhere to try and make sure that there's labour available. Labour pool. Look at this. This is really bad. See this? Transporting leather. 12 leather. Oh, I've still got a trading post. I need to get rid of this one then. Alright, we're ditching... Did we buy one firewood? Yeah, I'm ditching this. 37 logs. Man, it is gonna be laggy to build all this. 450 logs is 9 full storage things. Yeah, that'll be a challenge. Ten? Oh yeah, we're selling our oxes slowly. I thought that was a train post there, but it's this. Yeah, good. I didn't even intend to have that many. I had 21 when I only wanted 20. So it doesn't even work right. 39 logs. What I could do is completely redesign the logging operation. I could make make it circular and have a hitching post on the inside, forester lodges on the outside of it all around it, and then logging camps all around that. And then storage huts all around that, and have it just be like just fanned out. Where the fuck is my hitching post though? This has really been bothering me for ages. Forty logs. Look at the state of this. So fucked. Do I need granaries over here then? Is that what's causing that? Yeah, the granaries are causing this. So I'm being forced to use lo logs at the moment now. I need a granary here. Food stalls here. Yeah, fuck. The selling of the oxes is going really slowly. Pantry, 50 out of 50, how? Two logs. I 
Still get no yields expected for some reason. Wait a minute. I hate the camera being fucking fired around the place. Like Forester Hut 20 Timber, what is that? Forager Hut 20 Timber, I mean. What's going on with that? We have almost no flower. Do we need more fields for farms or what's going on? Completely out of flower now. Yeah, this congestion is bad. We want to try and keep that off the main road, I think. Forty three logs, yeah, this is too slow. Chopping, I can hear them chopping everything. Do I not have a fucking hitching post or something? Limit reached. So where the hell did I put it? Oh wow. I'm tempted to try this. The weirdest thing I described. Well, this is where the mass storage is to be. Seems like the firewood is becoming unstable. Four or seven logs. stored here. I'm quite sure even my farms are just broken at the moment. We should have fucking Do I need to make a church? Should I make a church? 
Alright, let's do another one, Moe's. Yeah, fashion is up. Alright, we're selling our oxes still. Continuing to sell them. Ah, uh, this is abysmal here. How have I only got 32 logs? What? Oh yeah, I've just built all this. Yeah, fuck. Oh man, need to recover this. 450 logs. I've got 109 houses and I need 234. A third of the way there, basically. Oh, 15 oxes, it's going down. Good, yep. Actually, I was recovering. I should have granaries fucking here for for these. To reduce the congestion and the lag. And have this just fucking go faster. That'll mean that we store more vegetables over here, I think. What's going on with these farms? Like, what? Why are these not working properly? I haven't seen anything growing in ages now. Logs going down. Your ten is manageable. This one is suspicious. Did I just fix that there? Oh man. Seems like you don't want to use the King's Road. You want to have houses on every road. You want to have houses going up the side of roads to keep them thicker. So there's an e easier right away. 31 logs. Oh, I've already got a fucking granary here for this.
Yeah, something's fucked with these farms. And something's just gotten itself stuck. Here we go. That don't take long. Just like that, your frames come back. This one looks guilty as fuck as well, look. Something's stuck again. It's gotta just be this one, but I can't fucking boop it. It's, it's bones in the way. Oh my god. Come on, laddie. Come Can on. Move your ass. Mm. Now we're going. Yep, goes fucking congested. Look at that. This logging camp was fucked. See, when they have a log, they should always be going somewhere. If they don't, they're stuck, I think. Waiting for a guide. Don't know why these would be waiting. We have shit happening at least. I see the logs going up slowly. So we can do four times and I can eat peanuts while the logs hopefully accumulate. Fucking hopefully. They're storing them. Can't ask for anything more than that. And we might sell some more of our fucking oxes. Homeless families? No way. Fourteen, there we go, it's going down again. That'll do, that'll give us a resolution to that homelessness bullshit. And we need more loggers, I think. Oh, god damn it. Right, let's try this then. So we're gonna go woodcutter, forester, 
Oh, it's laggy. Storage. It's a long way to take these logs though, fuck's sake. Only 22 logs. Oh, and I can make a manor at the end as well. If I just, I'm desperate for that last 15 or 20 people. Will that even be cost efficient though? It's a lot of logs to get that going. I think we'll stabilise firewood, I think food is still stable. Or we have harvests coming in again, my god, what was that? Still selling more oxes. Tavern's finished. How did I get the soundtrack to change? Because I like some of these late game tracks. Do I need to get one burger? I can do it. I have berries, I have bread, I have vegetables. I just need... What is it again that I need? Clothing... I need to get some barley set up, I need to get some... yeah, the church. Let's try and resuscitate this fucked up farming situation. Well, I placed this really well. Looks like I did. Alright, barley, let's have a look. Man, this region is fucking terrible. No, I'm not. What the fuck is that B buggy bullshit? Man. Something's got itself stuck and is lagging me. Is that it? Does that do it? 
Oh, that's all it took. There we go, there's other soundtrack. I need to just... Does this rotation shit just not work? Should I just fucking ignore it? It's so annoying. Just gonna deplete everything, fuck it. Deplete the fuck out of everything. It's gonna use up a lot of logs. I'm not excited about doing this. And workforce. Can I move the church? Of course not. Can't move the tavern either. And the logs. I think I actually have to do what I'm describing and be really ambitious with the... I need to have enough logs to pull this off though. Look at all this money I've got. Yeah, I have to I have to try. We're not getting any logs. It's just fucking stuck. I'll have to just I've got to set up a logging operation all the way over here. A remote logging operation. Yeah, I'm just gonna do it. Fuck it, I'm committed now. I wanna make this work. So where's the hitching post? Let's go. Super farm? What? Field super farm? Alright. This helps a lot. Fuck is my goddamn hitching post. I keep losing it. Oh, there it is. Yeah, that's what I thought. It's so tiny. So I'm gonna relocate this fucker to here. No. To here, and we're gonna do this. So that's gonna be the focal point of all of these. All right, and now we want storehouses everywhere. I think. 
TV. Na, 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 uh... Yeah, we do. Storehouses. We have to be able to get around them, though. And then I'll make another one. And then one to the south. And then one here. And then... Oh, what have I done? So I want a road that goes out to the left side of these. Fuck off. Forrester hut's across from it. Let's get to work. Get to work man. And then wood and then loggers up from it. Build this shit, please. This is what you have to do. This is really what you have to do in this fucking game when it works like this anyway. An entire logging area. Ten oxes will actually work alright like this, I think. Just need some more lumber and then I can start. Oh, wait, I can move these. I can move the other ones. And then delete the ones that are misplaced. And I can relocate as well. Yep. And then I can extend. Okay, we're getting there. If this works, I'll be relieved. Because there's a lot of shit that's just inconsistent, it doesn't make sense to me. I think this has been completely unproductive this entire time. So yeah, I'm moving that fucking thing.
Man, we need to be able to produce loads of logs, and this better work, otherwise I'm just gonna give up. If this doesn't work, it's gonna be fucking stupid. Oh, woodcutter lodge. This one was inactive, uh, we need this. Yeah, good, good, good. Next harvest, okay, we have harvests. It's finally making sense. I think the barley setup here has actually helped us. Still got mostly vegetables, still doing really well to use all those like that. See if you got the plot just right, the, the size of it for vegetables and all that stuff, you could have people just feed themselves I think without even having to take it to granaries or take anything from granaries. Like if you got it just right, the food thing could be completely resolved, they could just be self-sufficient the whole time. And then it would just be about firewood and, and making logs. Hope this works, come on. Get this fucking going. What am I? Oh yeah, red oxes are going down. Perfect. Ten oxes. That should be enough. Look at that, yep, it's almost enough. They're all moving. And there's no lag. Perfect! It's all I've ever wanted. Right, let's see if I can forest or... Yeah, relocate that shit. Yes. Remote forests are here. Forester storehouse, fire cutter, forester, fire cutter, forester, fire cutter storehouse. Yeah, this is looking good. This is it. So we have how many? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh man, yeah. And we'll have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight logging camps with a guy each. This better work. This is it. This better work. There should be no reason for fucking cows to go anywhere else. Build this shit, please. Build this shit. It's fucking on. It is on. Storehouse. All right, let's go. Let's go. I like how it doesn't warm me about running out of timber this time. This time it's got no problems. This time it won't warm me. No need. Oh lag. Harvests are expected, yep, good. We need more work, 
Yes. Let's get the show going. This is determined as fuck, this is gonna work. One, two, three, four, five, six, two more. Two, four, six, eight. Storehouse, 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 storehouse. 50, 100, 150, 200. Hitching post right in the fucking middle. Right in the middle. It's better work. This will be the key to making this all work, if I can actually do this. If I can use these eight logging camps to get logs at a good rate and store them, I need 400 logs to achieve this. 450 logs. Call it 500. I'll be able to get a thousand people. Wow, every log is worth two people pretty much. That's how I think about it. So you need to be able to store and utilize a lot of them. And if we have eight oxes dragging 400 logs, or 10 oxes dragging 400 logs, 500 logs, it's like 50 logs per ox. It's gonna take a while, man. It's gonna take a while. Let's go, Extreme logging operations. This is just like in fucking Daisy when I'm trying to build a giant base. I have to do the same kind of mass production shit. Alright, so that will be designated to... So that's the corner. That one will definitely be the corner. Yeah, I'll need to make sure that these are all designated. 17. So it's going to be 8 times 2 is 16 with a logger and a forester for each one. And I'll be able to build storehouses outside the compounds if I need to be able to store more logs here, which I might need to. And then we can break a thousand population. So I just had to keep planning this and being more deliberate about it. I think I can actually do this. A thousand people will probably lag like a bastard the closer I get to a thousand, but so. One person. Unlimited work area. Alright, let's start with this then. Start setting these. Two, four, six, eight. Yeah. Get these all going. So I'm going to try and stick to a clockwise configuration so I know so it's going to be like this and then I need to get more camps down. So we need to get one here and one in the middle there. So it's going to be there, 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 there and that's that half. What's that? Uh, yeah, that's that. That'll be that half. So this one's designated. Oh yeah, look at that. The logs are coming in. Gonna move this out a little bit. Yeah. And designate that to here. Gotta get this one up. Can't wait to see the logs that we get from this. This should work. Nothing should fuck this up. This is extremely uh, optimized. I've solved the firewood problem. I just have those little modules that are independent. Maybe need to build a house next to them, one or two houses. Uh,
Alright, so we've got... These are working. We need to get... Uh, that one's... This one's working. And now we just work on this half. That one is working. Got this one working. And this'll this will be an actual good use of all this shit. It combines all the systems optimally. If this actually works. Storehouses are running. Yeah, the storehouses are running. Alright, now we just wait. All we can do is wait. Might need to make houses nearby so that they've got labour. But that's it. And we have water tables all over the place, good. Alright, these logs should really be coming in. There's, there's no excuse. This should ha happen. I should be seeing massive logging. I want to hear the fucking hatchets hitting the, the fucking wood right now. Where's that noise? Yeah, where's the sound? Is it going to just take a while or what? Oh, he's planting. Good, good. You're building. So we're still going here. Maybe the workforce is too remote. That would explain why we likewise have almost no... have no barley. Can these people work? Let's take a look. Waiting. What are you waiting for, Arso? Decent distance to cover. Still got this crap going on. Should be seeing results from here. I might have to just start packing housing in right here, even though I'd want to avoid that. Ideally I would build houses away towards this, as the game gets laggier and more difficult to manage. Ox handler win. Warehouse worker? No way. What's going on here? Okay, so the loggers are not logging, but everyone else should be. connected up now. 
all of it. Wait a minute. Is everything connected? Everything's as it should be. So now we just wait and it should happen. Transform firewood? No. Is it because my workers are just too far away? I think that may be it. No oh, wait. One of them is working, I think. Yeah, I need to get some houses down. Oh wait. This is a hell of a layout, it better fucking work. How are we doing for f harvests? It's coming. You're building, but that's it. One timber. Does that mean someone somewhere is doing something? I think that must be it. I just need to get houses and a well up in a small marketplace. And scaling up can begin. Nine oxes. Did I set eight that I wanted? Because that would match up with the amount of logging camps we've got. Yep, so we have two now. Someone is digging. I mean, chopping. Who's the one that's actually working? Gotta congratulate him. Three logs, okay. I think I do just have to set up housing nearby to get this kick started and then it'll work. Look at that, it looks like a fortress on the map, holy shit. Well, I want to keep this road and working, so I'm gonna just gonna stick with this if I can, but the contours are so bad here. My god. Alright, this road out then, it's gotta be this one. But there's shit here as well. Well this is the habitable land that I built up, built this on. We have Emma Fertility here and everything. Three logs. I have to just see what we can do then. Gonna have to do something like this. Build out of this corner. Connect. No, it's out of the map, right. Gotta build into this corner then. All the wars converging around here. No fertile lands. Yeah, fuck it, we'll just build this out. Just go for it. Have a well be. It's 
Stuff like this will do. And then we'll start building houses. Yeah, let's have a look at this. <sighs> this is where it is to start. We have to build out from here. This guy has to be a woodcutter and he has to work. And the lag just started. That was a laggy build, holy shit. Wait, I'm listening. I think it's happening. Oh yeah. I hear more? No, I don't, never mind. Yeah, let's get this going. I need the population over here. Might need food as well. Oh fuck. Oh, it's laggy. Oh, that was laggy as fuck. What the hell? I'm tempted to just do full on food plots here. I hear him chopping, so. Should have. They're all around here, which is what I want. They should be going. And yeah, this is all really well forested up. I think this will work. I just need to get it going, stable, and it'll work. And I'm committed to just having a food supply exist here on this remote area. That's three. Yeah, this is where we want. Why is it so laggy while I try and place this? What? Man, it's so fucking. Yeah, it's under four times, that may be it. Nope. Nope, still laggy. 2 FPS while just running normal speeds. Someone was stuck and it was lagging me. Fucking hell. Oh, come on. Yeah, this will work. I'm confident about this. We're gonna have fucking 400 logs. Let's do this. I'm crutching the fuck out of this game's unoptimized bullshit at the moment so hard.
Just keep a safe distance though from the logging operation. Oh, fuck off. Yeah, you see, you have to slant, see that? That's what I was not doing there. Forgot to slant the fuck out of everything. Man, messy. I'll be able to delete this one if I want to. Yeah, these houses are not just packed in, these are actual utility houses, they're important as fuck. Man, where's our harvests? Are we gonna get a proper harvest? Seems like it. Mm hmm. Alright, good, that's a relief. Where the building can happen. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is good. This is really important. If we get all this down, this can work. And it should be easy for me to make more storehouses if I have to. If people produce and eat their own foods, it really cleans the streets up, which I think will end up being important to avoid lag. To keep this all fucking running. They're gonna have to introduce roads that are uh, one way, and yet you'll have to double them, that kind of thing. Like, proper traffic management is gonna be needed at this rate in this game. Otherwise, they're gonna have to increase the capacity of carts by a lot. Or let people go through each other, have no collision. Because the collision is fucking this up, I think. That's probably the, just the way to deal with it, to just fix the collision. It's so bad. Yeah, here we go. Look at the logs coming in. Oh man, I can do this. This can work. Man. If this works, if I end up seeing like 100 logs or 300 logs or something, I'll be so happy. Look at that, I can see the logs going up before my eyes. Listen to that. That's what you want to hear, holy shit. That, that sound there is the sound of victory in this fucking game, getting a thousand population. Five thousand food, a thousand population, five months. Yeah, it will take years to build. Oh man, I'll need granaries full. Many granaries. Full of a lot of stuff. So if my food goes below five thousand, I should start worrying, basically. That's what I'm understanding. Harvest of 157, that's one and a half thousand foot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm going in four times, and my frame rate is holding steady. Oh, there was a the lag there. Yep, there was. 
Okay. Oh, I can do this. Oh, maybe I should have giant plots that have eggs and goats. Maybe I should do that. And the small plots should be vegetables. Is that how I should do it? I don't know if that's how this works. Let's try it with this. Let's try it with this giant plot. What? Where is it all? What? Is that it? I'm gonna try this again then. Oh shit. Is that it? No way is that it. Alright, we'll observe that. We'll spectate and see what happens there. Have to observe that. So we have to go with carrots for now, maybe. I'm really curious about if there's a functional difference between the types of plots there. But I'm thinking that goats and the chickens might lag this as well. That's a possibility too. There could be lag introduced by all these chickens running around. We're already going to have a thousand people. Chopping is going well, I hear that. I'm gonna just assume that we want vegetables everywhere here for the moment. And I'll tentatively observe the goat and chickens production that I've just designated elsewhere. So we have Self-sufficient food production here, massive logging operation up there. Let's see how it goes. Should be extremely stable. And this should all be efficiently stored. Nothing should get in the way of this. Wheat, barley... What the fuck happened to the malt? Oh, we haven't stored any of it yet, okay. Yeah, I think vegetable plots could be a, plots could be a lifesaver in this. Because it frees up a lot. Reduces traffic. Oh, and the firewood is just becoming really excessive now. This is good as well. What you got? Yep. Perfect. And we're getting timber, it seems like. Yep. This could be working. Sixteen, it's getting slow, come on. Seventeen. Eighteen, right. It's looking better. Shouldn't have firewood here. It's no good. Yeah, this is it. Perfect. 
22 logs, let's see how quickly this goes up. This should all be running now, I think we have enough people nearby. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, nah we need more, we need more. Should be getting close to stabilising the workforce here. Transporting water. Yep, quite close. Alright. We have some wheat now. Where's the flower production? Come on. What's going on here? Oh, they're gonna thresh it in a minute, alright. Processing the mull into the barrel into malt. And then should be processing the malt into ale, and that's that. Sixteen logs, not impressed. We have fucking eight of these things going. This should be way better. Let's try and do something with this then. Market area. I can do this efficiently. It's a road network, damn right. So we have a well with a market around it. That's the way to go. Build fucking markets around wells. That's so perfect. Really clean. I might need a granary here as well. Fucking hell. Could build it in this absolute shithouse terrain. But yeah, it's good to see that these are all running, they're all operating. It's working. So we're gonna be fanning out from here with fucking 200 houses if everything works. All this chopping should correspond to logs being stored a bit better. It's 
That's a hell of a lot of chopping, man. We really should be getting loads of logs from this kind of thing. This is committed, determined shit. So if we get a log every 10 seconds and we need 400 logs, then it'll take an hour to gather like 400 or 1,000. 400 or 500 for the 1,000 people. 23 logs, yeah. We have a, a good rate. Three, come on, need more. Currently looking at the comments on my phone for the last one where I had 500 people. That has 10,000 views and only. How long is that? 10,000 views in like 36 hours. It's really surprising. For comparison, my Caesar 3 video, Corinthus, has 1,000 views in 36 hours, which I thought was quite good. So this is really extreme. People are liking Manor Lords. Twenty-seven logs. It's just not fast enough. It should be faster than this. It's still building as well. Twenty-seven. I think I really do just have to leave it like this to go until I've got 500 logs stored. I'll have 200 stored right here. In these really local storage buildings. Do I need to make more houses nearby and uh, guarantee a more proximate source of labour? Because we do need... Look, we've got 5, 6, 7, 8, 9... It's nine workers, but we need like 20, don't we? So we could be going at a fraction of the capacity at the moment. Fuck it, fuck it then, I'll just have to... Guarantee it. It's another four then. And then... Wait so I can have another 11 houses here. And I should do this. Five, six, seven, eight. I have to do this just to get the labor guaranteed, assured. Yeah, and then I'll have all the labor here. They'll all do their jobs. I'll have an excess of labor. We'll have the only thing is the firewood, but the firewood seems stable and like we could have some brought over if we needed it. Someone build that shit, you fucking idiots. Yeah, so we should have firewood food being distributed enough to support any gaps that we have. 
Should have spare labor. I can check on the eggs and the goats now as well. We're coming up for 360 people. Three chickens, two goats, yeah, fuck off with that. That is crap. I'm getting rid of that. That's shite. What a piss take. Fucking three goats, two chickens. Piss off. Holy shit. You do that on the most emaciated fucking plots, I think. That's, sh that's so bad. So, if you have a plot that's really big, you do vegetables. If you have a plot that's absolutely just horribly tiny and deformed, you can do goats and chickens, I think. I think that's how it should work. Look at that, full utilization pretty much. What the fuck? Way better. Oh man. So let's find a damaged one. Alright, try this then. I think we just did it, I think that worked. We're gonna have chickens there now. I think chickens are gonna spawn. And then check this. Yeah, look, vegetables. So you find the completely emaciated, horrible plots that just don't work right. Like this one. Gonna put goats there now. Look, they have a set of tools, what? Oh, did we get it back? Yeah, we got it back, oh wow, it gives you back the tools. Oh, so they're only in use, they're not actually consumed, they're just being used. Interesting. Alright, let's fast forward this, get this building going. Have the loggers be fully supplied. We have water, we have food. Oh wow, we even have a working tavern now. Oh yeah. It's given us everything is working, it says. All we need is clothing. So we need to have sheep, some amount of sheep. I think it's bugged because we're not actually supplying leather to anyone. Look at all these people while constructing, they're all builders. Yep, no one's actually living here. Is there this sun or fire above? Right, so this looks like a shitty plot, so I'm gonna try this. And then likewise here. Those plots look shitty. That one looks a little bit better. And that may work out well. Could be working. And then food stalls for the different kinds. Yeah. So we're gonna have a few different kinds of food stalls here. If we have to, we can build a granary that can help move things around. But now we have labor, local labor. Gonna listen for the wood choppers. Yeah. All right, I think I should, I can AFK this. Now I'm not gonna, but I think I could. Could even try two loggers per plot. See how it does. About two loggers. I could try the corners. Two in the corners. Yeah, okay, two in the corners. Two 
Let's see how that does. So I've got four corner ones, four middle ones. That's 12 loggers in total with eight foresters. That might do well. Rate might go up. Let's listen. Yeah, it's a lot of chopping. Fucking 400 logs, here we come. I only need another 210 to 420 logs, approximately. Firewood has been supplied really easily as well. Getting loads of that. Oh my god. Yeah, 1,000 grain. Okay, that's not that surprising. I thought we had like a thousand wheat there, never mind. But that's still gonna get processed into flour and multiply. These oxes are doing well. Fucking chicken called Barbara or something. Yeah, this is looking better. 27 timber, 28. Look, you can see the foresters are doing really well. That shit works. It works. 29 timber. One egg. Three milk. Maybe when it's completely tiny, you want to go with goats. Maybe chickens can scale a bit better. Whoops. Oh, that's one. Did I see a fucked up one? Yeah, this one. Never mind. Never mind this one. Making flour, making malt, producing ale. Still have 13 leather. Thirty-four logs. Oh yeah, now we're talking. I'm gonna set this up and have two at every single one. Oh, this one had nothing? What? Two at every single one. I want this to be stable, so I'm not gonna enable the automatic labor on any of them. And if I need more storage places, I can make more on the roads out. I need a road out here as well. Right, 36 logs. It's promising. 130 houses, need another 200. 400 logs, that's what we need. We're 10% of the way there. 10%. Four hundred people, my record's five hundred. Getting close to my record. Yeah.
45. 46. This is getting good. I should make storehouses and just let them go at it, I think, for a while. I should do that. So I'm gonna make one. Wait, I'm, I can fix this road now. Oh, we have storehouses here. Okay, I'm gonna extend this down. I'm gonna delete here. I'm gonna connect this again. I'm gonna delete this bit. Yeah, that's fine. So that's connected. That's straight, that's connected. We have multiple storehouses right here for logs. Firewood being stored, that's fine. As long as firewood is surplus, I'm not complaining whatsoever. And how's the flower? Need more. Yeah, this is good. The congestion has been taken off the main road. Fine with us. Ale. Wheat. I didn't realise ale could end up in a granary. So it constitutes food. That's quite interesting. Gonna add workers to that there. Food in the tavern. And they're gonna have to plow their way up and get the rest of that now. Let's we'll see how much food they have. Ah, oh, fuck off. Let's see how much food they have. 48. 52. 47. Very nice. The food's self sufficient. 58 logs now, yeah, 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 it's going. It's going well. Chickens are not yielding. Yeah, this is what you have to do to address logging then in this game. You have to set up something like this and just develop it. You have to have a hitching post area, build a ring around it, and then extend it out. I might have to get a granary here after all. I'll just do this then. It's a bit too close for comfort. Yeah, I'm gonna try and keep my distance now from that. So we're just gonna have a granary and not build anything else. And then I'm gonna go and get something to eat, come back, and we'll see how far we've gotten. We should be making progress. Look how quickly we can build here as well with all these logs, I love this. 66 timber. 67. So this should solve the food. Firewood solved. I'll give one worker to this and upgrade it for capacity. And we have it we have enough people around here now. That's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. Actually, more like 20. So we have about 20 people. Construct extension. What is that?
fuck does that say there? Construct extension. So you can do multiple extensions? What the fuck? Let's take a look at this then. I don't see that here. Are the chickens working? Yeah, look. See when it's broken? Alright. So if you have a tiny fucked up plot, use goats and chickens. If you have actual area, use carrots, vegetables. That is how you do this. Yeah, we're losing firewood. That's a problem you probably wouldn't have though. Man, I was only planning on testing some shit tonight and I've made a full on fucking city. I want to try this, I'm so curious about what the hell this does. Clothing and entertainment, so we need more ale. We have the malt. We just need more ale then. So making malt is easy, making ale is more difficult. Good to know. Fifty malt stored. Alright, let's try this then. Let's introduce some rotations. Seven percent, holy shit. <laughs> oh, these yields are so shit. Ninety six logs, we're getting near a hundred, yeah. Okay, I think we're stable for food and for firewood, so I'm gonna be right back. I'm just gonna get the best angle for this. Yeah, it's like a time lapse now, holy shit.
Oh, I needed that fucking break. Holy shit. And I needed to come back and see how many logs we've got, and holy shit, nearly 200, it's working. 200 logs, 100 houses, 300 people, it's already us up to like 700, assuming it doesn't just lag out and fucking not build anything. Oh, yeah. But what is this with my money? 7,000? Have I been just sailing? Loads. Don't want that. I think I've been sailing shit this whole time. Alright, so here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna stop selling. I'm gonna import wheat. I'm importing wheat. That's the most efficient way to do this, to import wheat. Don't trade. Alright, so let's see what happens if we import wheat. Can I import 7,000 worth of wheat for 3,400 wheat for about... What is that? 60,000 food? <laughs> see, if you import wheat... You don't even need to make farms. You can import wheat. Have traveling traders that go around doing that shit. Transporting leather. Oh man, this can work. Right. If you import wheat, that becomes, what is it, what's the ratio, is it 10 to 4, 40? Is it 40? I'll have to look at a, a mill to figure this out. 4 to 1 and then 10 to 1, was it? No. Uh, one mill. Two, alright, two. Alright, let's see what happens here. Two grain, no flour. Well, well, fuck that. All right, seven flower, three grain, six flower. Nah, you're useless. Four flower. Two grain became four flowers, so it's two to one, so is that twenty bread per wheat? So if I twenty per twenty Transporting bread. If this works, then I'd be able to multiply 3,400 by 20, 60 or 70,000 food. I think that's right. I think that's how this will work. Can I even do that though? Is that just to sell shit? What if... Trade point. That's the trade point there. And this is my land. Should I try this? I could maybe buy... Can I go there? Buy wheat? Transporting leather, what? What are these guys doing, man? Transporting leather?
Come on, show me what you've, you've got. What do you have? Your inventory? I don't know what the hell he would be transporting leather for. That doesn't make any sense. Oh, they're going to get it? Okay, fuck that. No more of that. Don't trade it. Don't trade it. So where are they going? They're going up to here. No, I think they're going to there. It's closest to them. So if I make a trade point down here, trading post down here. I should try this. I should at least try it. Only one way ever know. Two hundred logs yet. Really is working. Really is. All right, let's get fucking going with this shit. I need to get a surplus of tools that I can use to set up more vegetable plots if we get fucked over. If it becomes a disaster and I'm running out of food, I'll at least be able to salvage it that way. Oh, 50 logs. <laughs> and I like how it's got different pools. It can have a log capacity and another capacity alongside it. Yeah, we're filling up our storehouses. Good. Yep, sure enough, 200 logs. He's going... Yeah, he's going down there to that. So you have to look at the trade point on the map and get it right. It's good to know, I'm interested in this stuff. Alright, now we want to have... It's getting to the point now where building costs are trivial. Storehouses can be made wherever. Can have one there. Logging camps are going to be getting congested at this rate. Oxes are all busy, and we don't have so many that it's lagging us. That's good. I may want to actually get rid of all the the goats and the chickens. I think I should just do that. I don't want to take the risk of being lagged. I'm still curious about this as well. And as we're getting close to the limit, we're going to want to be able to push it as far as possible. I don't want to just stop at a thousand if I can actually break a thousand. So 
Look how long this is taking. Holy shit. Yeah, this is the position for a trader. Nothing else is worth it. Look, it's really close. I can easily buy from here. Thresh it here if I have to, yeah. I'll have to build a farm here. A low priority farm. So I'll need some tools once again. How much ore do we have now? None, of course. We have some wheat stored for some reason. Congestion isn't looking bad. Two hundred twelve logs. I need to wear a hoodie, it's getting cold. Low ambient temperature helps my CP and GPU run cool, which helps my fucking rig not overheat and explode, which helps me break this barrier. This is encouraging. Build this shit, come on. Six four three seven. Am I buying weight? Nine oxes. It's fine. Transporting leather, so they have some and they're bringing it back or what? That was such a shit trip, my god. You really need to upgrade, this is terrible. This is really terrible. I think these long distance routes are probably bad as well, like this, this probably lags everything. Quest completed? Wow, by not doing it? Amazing. Target is 10, what the fuck? Nearly. I need to demolish this piece of shit. My god. 116 houses is possible. It's gonna be fun placing all these fucking things, man.
Alright, okay, so let's see if that's happening in real time. There he comes. What's he gonna have? How much leather? One unit? I bet it's one unit. One leather? Yeah, fuck that. Alright, yeah, what's he doing? He's going to get weight. It's working. So, oh shit, I deleted the wrong one, but that's fine. Because we have everything we want pretty much in terms of that. I don't care about importing animals really. If I want to, I can build it again. Alright. So I want to always be important. Wait. I don't think I even need to make the infrastructure for this, I can just have them do this non-stop. They should go down here. I've got to watch out there with the fucking lag. Seventy-seven percent, ninety percent, seventy-six, seventy-four. Next harvest is the under thirteen, which will provide three thousand grain. It's not an issue really. I don't really need to be trying to bring in weight. It's probably not worth it all. We bring in four units every what two minutes, three minutes. I'm just curious to see if I can make it work because it's so close. If, if they go here, that might be alright. If I can have a, a low level amount of wheat being brought in all times, then I'll do it just to see if I can make it work like that. Alright, and then Iron Ore 43, yeah, uh, okay, we can stop this now. Process all that into tools. We have food, flour, ale. We only need some more clothing. Shit, maybe I should. I want to figure out what this is. This one? No, wait. Which one was it? This one? I want to figure out what the hell this is. Extensions. Higher housing level required. See if I build this, will it just disappear? That fucking icon? Yeah, what kind of food do we have? Let's try and see what happens. I need to be careful with that 16 times, that could really lag the game up, it could chug and crash. And also I should think about more firewood operations. I should maybe have one near here, because I've got all this storage. Yeah, that should be fine. And then I can build even more down this way if I have to.
Yeah, so that's decent. Let's take a look at this now. It's working. Oh, he's bringing it back already. Oh, yeah. Well, it works. Oh, yeah, it works. So that wheat will get threshed and expand by 10 times and then turn down to flour to expand 2 times. It's actually worth it, they're, uh, they're making themselves... They use up firewood and food and I think they're making themselves cost effective doing that. That's a viable self-sufficient thing to do. Oh look at this bullshit. Let's see, yeah, 22 and 2, let's have a look. Oh, come on, let me look. 22, uh, 22 and 2 to 24 and 1, so it, yeah, it goes up by 20 times. Expands by a factor of 20. So I pay 2. For something that I can sell for 160. That's what that means. Oh, so this looks like a lot of traffic for this tiny little route here. Will they eventually just come and give me it in bulk sometimes? Let's have a look. Three wheat, just like that, just like that. We have logs being stored here already as well, yeah. Nearly 300 logs, holy shit. So firewood is here, food is here. I could even just be in porn clothes now, like this. That would be fine. Where is he going? Oh, he's stuck. No, he's not, he's just waiting for some reason. Find him. He's stuck. There's a little window there I can look at him through. Look at him. He's just sitting in there. Can you even see him? What a creepy little fucker. He's in the dark. Yeah, he's stuck. Is he? I'm gonna see if I can boop him. Well, he got booped, so... Yeah, he's gonna just sit there, you shall say, like a prick, fine.
We've got to get more houses going soon. Uh, Three hundred fucking logs nearly. One hundred fifty houses, four hundred fifty people. It takes us up to eight hundred fifty. I need another. Oh man, how much? Four hundred two people we need another six hundred. So you know. Th Wait, we only need like three hundred more logs. Wait a minute. One hundred thirty-four up to four hundred two. Three to one. We need another six hundred people. So it's 200 houses we need. It's 400 logs, yeah. Need another 120. We're actually nearly there. Holy shit. This is fucking sweet. Hey, How are we doing for a week? How are my lads doing? Getting on with it. Oh, and that'll get threshed right here, maybe. Can it be that these interfere with one another because they're so close to each other? Does the fertility get affected by adjacent plots? I really wonder. Do we need more houses, definitely, so we need to amend this. Feels good to know that I can just make as many houses uh, as I need, doesn't it? Alright, that's a decent number. <laughs> oh man. How do we only have this many tools? What the fuck? Absolute slacker of pricks, what? Oh, come on. Perfect. Just 
just eyeballed that shit and it was perfect, holy shit. <laughs> Alright, let's get these logs going again. Uh, 266. Yeah, we still need 140 at least. Higher housing level. Leather's not even been used, and it says it's there. It's counting it. Oh, he figured his way out. Well. Not much construction going. Fucking laggy, man. Oh, here we come. Yep, so they're meant to use the right side of the road when they do the works. Stick to the right side of the road. Construction workers here. Yep, so the vegetables and the bread are sort of balanced out now. It's really laggy. Getting close to the point where it's going to lag horribly if I make any more houses and have any more people, so I'm really wary. Like, I've got to place all the roads, then place all the housing plots, and then just blast up to a thousand, I think. It's the only way that's going to work. Two hundred sixty-seven logs. It should be going up faster than this, I'm a bit worried. Needless to say, extremely laggy already. I'll have to figure out where that is. Oh yeah, it really could be that. I just saw a singularity of bullshit.
on, man. Yep, it's this. Holy shit, you can see he's struggling so much. I need to delete some of these ovens. This is just fucked. Gonna move one of the windmills away somewhere else. Something I can do is put a windmill here and some ovens here. Yeah, I'll do one here. And then an oven. And another oven. That should help a lot. My god. Gotta be the culprit. Horrendous fucking frames. No wait, this is bad. This is bad, yep. Yeah. I think that helped a lot. Did it? Did it help? Man. Collision's fucked. You can't have this kind of collision enabled. I think that just held everything up. I think we're like half an hour behind because of that. Oh wow lag, yeah wow wow. Holy shit. Yeah, I wonder where the camera's gonna stop. Fucking hell. Fuck me man. Can you imagine trying to cycle through 20 of these, or 30 of these, and not just 9? I need to start preparing. Let's 
I'm only to understand it to log, so where are they all? Where are you going, you plonker? This does look nice though down here, my god. Look at that. Oh, that's why, yeah, holy shit, they have to go all the way over here to do this. Some light building work just interrupts the fuck out of them. This is why you cannot interrupt the logging operation. Just look at what happened. Fuck's sake, some of them could have at least kept doing the logging. Jesus. At least some of them could have kept fucking going, just leaving all, all the logs to rot. Are we still dealing with this? Give me a break, man. <laughs> Fucking 2 FPS, because these people are retarded. It's amazing. can't do anything when the lag is this horrible. It's barely one frame a second now. I can't even move the camera. It's still one FPS when it's fucking paused. The fuck? Is it gonna just crash? What a joke. Oh my god. Can I delete the roads? Will that fucking fix it? Oh my god, this is abysmal. It's less than one frame per second now. I wish I could just kill all of them, just delete them all. Fuck off now. Fuck off. Oh my god, man. Can I just run away from it? <sighs> Are they not gonna have to reset their task because there's no road? Are they gonna just keep spurging on a road forever? spontaneously resolving itself. Like we had about a second there where it wasn't fucking lagging like an absolute arso. Look at that, it's like five carts that are just fucking blobbing each other. They're just getting people stuck in amongst it. My god, what is the stupid behaviour that they're doing as well? The church is making it worse. Fuck the church. As always, always making everything worse. My god. I think this church wall is just destroying the fuck out of this. Nah, they're, they're completely isolated now and they still can't get out of this. Yeah, fuck off. 
It's definitely this, because I've noticed that whenever the, they start to untangle, the frame rate improves. Fucking arseholes, holy shit. I wish I could just spam boop one of them over and over again. Fuck them, man. Fucking boop the lot of them. I wish I could just toggle boop mode. Oh, look at that cart just abandoned. Yeah, more of that. I've nearly resolved it. Fuck these arseholes. How can you still be stuck? Holy shit. Wait, what are you doing, you dumb fucking... What are you doing, man? What are you doing? Oh, where's the delete button? Yeah, fucking... I wish I could slip. Is it her that's doing this? I really want there to be a delete button for these people so I can just kill them all. Ah, fuck this. She's gonna keep spazzing out forever. No? My god, that was torture, holy fuck. That was miserable, that was really miserable. And as a nice reward for fixing it, my frame rate is still shit. Is there another knot somewhere else? What is going on? Of course there is, yeah, of course. Absolutely there is. And as usual, it's on the King's Road. The, the worst, most unresolvable problem, because you can't even delete the road. Just when I thought I was going to get to play the game again. Yeah, something's wrong. The number of entities is too high, so it's allowing less resources for each thing. So they're having less ability to maneuver themselves out of their fuck up. And it just snowballs, gets even worse. Good chance I'm not going to be able to get to do what I want to try and do here and make loads of houses and get to a thousand. Even though I've got enough wood for 150 houses, which is 450 people, which will take me up to 750. miserable. I can't even address the underlying cause of this and stop it from happening again. I could delete this. This is on the King's Road, I could delete it. Might be this fence that's fucking them up. Look at how congested that is. Oh my god. These carts are horrible. Fuck this shit. It's not even anything I can do about it. It's too laggy to even boop them. 
Look at them all spazzing out. It should just disperse them all, it should throw them all out when you do this. It shouldn't just hit one of them, it should be enough to disperse entire blobs. And it should be every time you click it randomises their position. I can't even do it, it's too laggy. I want the ox to just spin around on the spot and fire them all out. Is it getting better? I don't know. I need to be pulling traffic away from the center. Got to keep it off the King's Road. Three FPS, that's improving. Four FPS. It's almost playable now. That boop is way too weak. Let's go, people. What carts are actually in here? There's an orc stuck in there. Ox is out. But they're getting extremely blob now. Get to work, lad. It's moving, at least. Last time it was around here, I think. It looked like it was dispersing there, but then it just started spazzing out again and into blobs. It's like there's two blobs now. There's two different blobs that are both fucked. It's like I need to sever all the roads that connect to the King's Road now. I need to just isolate King's Road and build everything off of it. Away from it. 
fucking hear this. Only these roads that have houses, like the... I don't know, is this even a narrow road? I think they just do this on their own no matter what. I think they're gonna just always do this. I hate this. Three hundred logs as well. Oh man. There needs to be a debug delete if it's gonna be like this. Like you have to just be able to delete all the entities in the area. Just kill them all. That's what click and delete is supposed to do. I should be able to just kill them but by selecting them and click and delete. Look at this. Who the fuck wouldn't want to kill all these idiots when they're doing this? This is miserable. I've only got 400 people as well. I could easily have another few hundred if I could just build what I've got the wood for. But I'm, I'm getting fucking interrupted with this before I can even do that. Two FPS. It's getting worse it looks like, they've separated. This one is getting really bad. No wait, is that a third one? Have these two fused and a third one's arrived? And people are joining it. There's like five carts in there now and an ox is coming too now. How can you enable collision when it works like this? You can't have collision when it works when it's so badly resolved like this. You have to turn this off. I have to turn off all collision. Terrible idea, Levon. I'm gonna just sit and eat and watch this. I think I have recourse here. I think I can delete all the connecting roads. Go try it. There's no fires or anything like in a Caesar 3 or whatever. The buildings stay behind. Oh, we're getting a frame or two back.
306 logs as well. Oh my god. Fuck this. Where's the fucking traffic coming from? Oh, we're at 10 FPS for a second. Oh man. Then it's gone again. Five FPS. Oh, another one here now. Oh, another one. Yep. This looks almost unrecoverable. I think I need to just spam houses through the lag and see if I can actually get a thousand. That's the only way I can do this. I would have to grind house by house for like two hours. Only consolation is that the firewood and the food seem to be stable. Somehow. So like I need to delete every granary. Warehouse worker. Four FPS, three FPS.
still building houses at least. Two hundred and fifteen logs. Oh, is it spontaneously resolving? What the fuck? It looks spread out and there was a 9 FPS there. Well, I have just survived fucking half an hour of non-stop lag. 14 FPS. This is, this is not worth tolerating. I need to just get everything off these roads. That's not as horrible. Wait a minute, is that another one? Yeah, that's that one. It's, it's now that one that's the worst. This one isn't even that bad. It's this one, I think, that's bottlenecking. Getting rid of the malt. Fuck that. Fuck that shit. Deleting this bullshit. Oh wait, I can just move the pub. If I want to. No, I'm just getting rid of all of it. Oh. 14 FPS. 15. 15 the highest I've seen in a while, holy shit. Eh, uh, it's getting a bit higher. Three hundred and thirty logs. I'm gonna rescue this. I'm fucking. I've got a lot of logs that I get there. If I have to delete everything, I'll just do it. Let's find these goats and chickens and get rid of them as well. Over here, what? Uh, deleted that. Oh my god, are they just roaming? Oh wait. All these types of food, my god. It's been ages since I was playing this. Ages.
put in the wheelbarrow what? Did I see put in the... Getting rid of these. Taking them off the main roads. It's just a bad idea. Yeah, it's worth it. But it'll go somewhere else, fuck it. close. Scan bear. Meanwhile the metal logs has been going up steadily the whole time. That one's... is it dispersed? Close. Three hundred and forty-seven logs. We're getting close to the requirement. See that much. this to this. It is already, I think. No. That helps with that a lot. There should be no more traffic on this fucking road, really. Don't need to delete these stalls to... Ugh. Yeah, fuck this. Fuck these stalls. Fuck them.
Oh, fuck that. So I've only got the nine oxes. Pulled a lot of the road supply off of the King's Road where everything just gets fucking jammed pretty much. There's still two knots, there's two knots, oh my god. I need to just have extreme proximity, so... A windmill loving granary, a windmill loving granary. Farms beside farm buildings. I need to preserve that the whole time. Deleting this tavern. Moving elsewhere. For example, down here. The fucking lag. We don't even need a tavern, it'll just lag everything more. How are they still fucking knotted up? There's nothing there anymore. What the fuck? Fucking die. Is it improving? Have I done enough? I was stuck at 369 logs for some reason. I'll have to try and go through these and make sure they're not fucked. These could be causing a problem as well, that could be making everything... Yeah, I think these are but fucked as well. I think that was making it all worse.
Right, the game runs, so they're actually doing stuff. If that knot can spontaneously resolve, we're gonna be fine. This is fine. Oh, is this one resolved? That one's resolved, so it's just this one now. Well, we did it. Almost there. Even the frame rate is a bit better sometimes. Can I force this to resolve now with buffing it? Oh my god, see when it collapses in on itself like that? That's so fucking annoying. Look at that bullshit, what the fuck. Yeah, fuck stalls. I think stalls are to blame for a lot of this. I do actually blame stalls. Fuck stalls. Fuck them. You just can't integrate things at all. I think these are coming from the stalls the other side of the map. I should just delete them all. All of them. What was that there? Some rocks. It's so fucking hard to move the camera around. Alright, all the clothing ones are just gone. Fuck them. All the food, all the clothing. is not important. Even firewood, so I don't give a fuck. I can't believe this blob of retards is holding me back from hitting a thousand people. This fucking blob of dumb cunts. Just let me find out where you work. See that transporting firewood? That's what that was. It's because they were operating stalls and they have to go to the other side of the map. Look at them going backwards. Cut that out. Oh my god, man.
It looks spread out now. Two hundred and ninety logs. Three ninety two. I could probably spam houses right now and maybe do it. So let's think about this. 190. No. Hundred and ninety-six. Three over two of three hundred and eighty-two. It's almost six hundred. I think we can do it. I think we can break a thousand now with just spamming a hundred and ninety houses or something. Fuck it, let's go. I don't give a shit about the fucking lag. I don't give a fuck. Don't give a shit. A thousand people. Don't give a fuck. Right, let's go. Don't give a shit. I just need to put them down like ten at a time and then this will be bearable. Find the button. Ah, oh, fuck's sake. Yes, it's gonna be painful. Yes, it's gonna be really painful. Really, really painful. Two, three, four, five. Alright, well that's food solved for some of these. We have tools as well. Alright, let's extend this up. Actually, I need to do this. I need to just hug the edge. Oh man, this is going to be great, isn't it? Am I torturing myself by making myself do this? Fucking absolutely.
Oh my god, it's so fucking laggy. Too steep, yeah, right. Yeah, well, fuck that, done enough there. Disgusting shitty lag because of this fucking blob of retards. Is it? I don't see it anymore. Where is it then? There's got to still be a knot. I don't see it. What? Only that? It's almost completely resolved. It's only a couple of carts. I can dip that to fucking fix it. Way better than I was. It's just one idiot spazzing now. Absolute assholes. Even the oxes go backwards, my god. I've been walking. I think this is a fucking mess as well, actually. I think this might be the culprit now. I think it's contagious. Once the pathfinding fucks up, the resources available diminish to resolve future pathfinding problems. And it snowballs. I can delete this storehouse. Oh, FPS went up. Hmm. 
And I need to just delete this fucking building. I'm blaming this building. No, wait. And this idiot's stuck. I think that might have helped a bit. I need to figure out where the knot is. There's a knot somewhere. Is it recovering? Well, this is cleared up. I see no culprit. I would say this is resolved, but I can tell it's not somehow. What is causing this? Is it normalizing? I can't afford this. I need I need to have no lag while I put down loads of houses. I can't afford to have lag that just gets in the way. It'll make it even harder to put down houses. I needed the whole point of this is that the logs are there, I can build, I can watch, and then I can pass the point. I can't do that as it stands with a lag this bad. It completely blocked me. Completely blocked off by this lag. It's gonna just be almost impossible to put all this down. I need to do it over here as well, in this part of the map. Because that's where all the logs are. Actually, has two frames per second. Oh, come on. I wish I prepared all the roads that I'm gonna use now. I wish I'd done already. It's so fucking horrible. See how fucking hard this is when you're dealing with this lag? You have to wait literally a second to get fucking feedback. Fuck this shit. Now wait 10 seconds for this to place through the lag. I don't even know where it is that's causing the lag at this point. It's really bad. I can't even resolve it. I can't do anything to improve the situation. It wasn't here before, now it's fucking here. 
Oh wait. Oh wait. Oh wait. Big improvement. Twenty FPS, never had that in like a half an hour, forty five minutes. It's getting way better, I need to get roads down now. Fuck's sake. Ah, oh, we're back to two FPS, okay, yeah, never mind. Never mind. I was just hopeful for a minute there, that's all. Never mind though, never mind. Ah. <sighs> No idea what's causing this. Oxes don't seem to be stuck. To the extent I'm even able to assess. Given the lag. Firewood is actually up somehow. That's surprising. Yeah, all the oxes are fine. It's not because of them at all. Down here. This has to be it. This granary. Yeah, well, that's it, was it? Oh wait. No, that's fine there.
We've got to just push on through the lag then and find a way to make 170 houses. So be it. Got to time my fucking camera movements. Ludicrous. Oh my god. Oh, fuck off. Got to settle away here then. Try to fucking swing the camera up and it's not doing it. Oh, this is an absolute nightmare. This is absolutely fucking awful. Only four. Alright, four houses, fuck it. Four. The interface gets in the way so much. Too steep? Yeah, yeah, why am I not surprised? All that, just have it be. Have it tell me it's too steep. Yeah, great one. Over here, the same, yeah. Rain is shit for making houses, my god. It's more like it. Twelve whole fucking logs.
Okay. Oh my god, that interface is gonna get in the way. Oh, I was clicking and nothing was fucking happening because of that crap. Oh, fucking get out of the way, holy shit. Finally. Now we're talking. Now we're fucking talking, man. A lot of these logs used a lot. Come on, fucking move the camera. Oh, my God. One frame per second, very fucking nice, very nice. What has it just done? Saw eight sixteen, give me it again. The hell is it? There is. Mm-hmm. Alright, next up. Can't even adjust fucking anything. <sighs> Torture. Torture. Absolutely torture. Still need 130 houses to go down. I'm not even halfway through my log reserve. Fuck's sake. I'm not happy with this placement. It's so fucking laggy though, I can do way better if I can just actually control what I'm doing. Holy shit. Fucking infuriating. Oh, 
Oh yeah, I didn't even press anything or move the camera anywhere and it just fired over here. It wasn't even on the keys with my fingers. Yeah, I can't move the camera. Yeah, now it does it. That's about half a frame a second, I think. Hard to believe there's any way I'm gonna be able to do much here. I don't think there, there's even gonna be building happening. It's too slow. Not enough then? Alright. Yeah, I have no idea what's causing the lag. It's really annoying. I wish I knew what it was. I've been able to spot it every time before now, but this time it's just it's not there. There's no identifiable cause. There's construction going, we're, we're building everything. Well. I don't move the camera again. Fuck off with it. It just moves the camera on its own. Ah, oh, fuck. It's annoying when you've got the logs to do it all, but the lag is just too much. Unique situation. Can I do this? Can I click? Can I have it? Is the fucking interface gonna get in the way again? Yes, it is, of course. Oh, wait. Go! Go! My god. Move the fucking camera! Fucking move.
camera stuck. The mouse and the keyboard both don't move the camera now. Oh no, it moves it. A lot. Well, I think we're definitely going to have enough for like 700 or 800 people this rate. Something. But there's no way we're going to be able to actually appreciate it. It's going to just be a miserable torture. We've even got visual artifacts. I wish I could get this fucking HUD out of the way. Let's see how this does. Now we're fucking talking. Eleven? Oh yeah, yeah, I'll have eleven. I will have eleven. And I've got all the logs I need. I just need to get the housing down. So I don't mind if I impinge or infringe a little bit upon our Logging operation. I'm surprised I got these down. That's really steep, getting to be steep now. Oh man, I'm getting good at anticipating what the lag's gonna do. Holy shit. Let's see if this lets me do this. It's getting really steep down there, so I doubt it. Oh! Oh man. Oh well. We are getting all these logs used up, holy shit. I'll laugh if this all gets built, holy shit. I'll have done this through the most ridiculous lag that shouldn't even have appeared yet. I was expecting this kind of lag at the end, but I've been doing it the whole time. Too steep? Too steep, we'll see. Yeah, alright, we'll have to move it up a bit. small
Okay, we'll go with this. <sighs> Fuck. We're 80. Short. It's a lot of houses that have to get built in normal speed. Firewood is stable. The food surely is unstable. How can food be stable? Come on, show me how much grain I've got. What the fuck? Every few minutes we're getting a building. Oh man. This will take forever. Yeah, wheat, holy shit, we have enough wheat for a lot of food. But I don't know if the... The food will get made. Look at the map. I can't turn this here either. Oh man, what a relief. The respite, holy shit. 20 FPS. Oh, what a relief. Frame rate is slowly going up. I don't know if that's because it's just the average though. Yeah, straight back to one. They're moving slowly. I'm watching the carts. I wish I could have rewound to before the lag happened and avoided the lag. Did whatever it took to have the lag start, because once the lag becomes as bad, there's nothing you can do to resolve it. I was getting frustrated at 12 FPS, but now I'm at 1 FPS. It's hopeless. Are we getting new houses at least? How slow is this actually running? Can I delete these? And have that help me?
We are finishing houses, well. Wow. It's not going as slow as I thought, I can see them moving. How do we have 15 leather there? What the fuck? Unless the stall was gone, they were maybe causing a lag. Yeah, I think we're gonna run low on bread. Yeah, we should have more bread than vegetables by now, but we're producing more. Yep, we're building these. It's taking a while, but it's happening, so I should just per persevere, I think. These are getting built, so I should keep telling where them where they should build them. Should keep instructing them to build. So that's what I'm gonna do then. going. Why the fuck is that not letting me build that? Is there a well there or something? What the fuck is this? The fuck? Come on, let me do this. Don't get me too steep. Oh, here we go. Okay, that's ten. A few more of these. Oh, shit. No, no, I clicked the wrong thing. Boom. And I can't line up roads because the camera's too fucking shit. So I can't do perfect rear views of the placement to get it lined up right. Can try though. And anyway, this is too steep, so who cares? Oh, what now? Ah, uh, these are crap amounts of houses, come on.
Come on, I should get through to this. Fucking bullshit. Don't know why it's doing that weird shit. I can't even move the camera to look and see why, so fuck it. Gotta just take it. Come on, give me three then. My god. Yeah, that's fucking annoying. I'm giving up on that shit. Fuck that. Love one FPS, I love it. Hopefully, we end up with loads of fucking workers for construction. Oh man, it lagged and then clicked. Oh my god, I can't even look. I'm early, I'm getting close. I need to get these roads going again. Let's get this road. Hundred fifty houses, four hundred forty one people. Put it down where it was fucked. Ah, oh, fuck's sake. Alright, here we go. Alright, let's see how this does. Five houses, come on. Six houses, five houses. Six. That's what I need. Yep. 
And then let's get another six or seven or eight or nine or ten. This is just fucked here. I can't even investigate. It's too laggy to even investigate. Skewed road, gotta just assume. Nah, I can't I can't investigate, it's too laggy. I've got to give up on that entire area. Oh there's a road that cuts through there. So I have to go through that with this road. Try to get as many down as I can. What do I see? There's another road. Crossing over there. Right, I'm abandoning there. I can't be bothered anymore, it's too miserable. 134 logs left. Oh wow. Holy shit, yep. Yeah. <sighs> it's getting close. Jesus. If I could just have like a few minutes of uninterrupted non-lag, I would deal with this. In fact, let me try something. This might crash it, but I have an idea.
<lacht> okay. I don't think it's works. I've got to abandon this try. Well, I don't know what I would do next time. <laughs> <laughs> 